The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. If you mess up our broadcast, we're going to ask you to leave. We, right now, we're energetic. It's a Tuesday. You got this negative, Nancy, sick energy. It's gloomy out. You know what I'm saying? It's mad gloomy. We don't want that here. It's the JBP. We not with it. We can handle this. Go lay down. You got a big couch back there from, it, what's that fancy shit? Restoration. Restoration Center? Restoration Center. Restoration Center, <laughs> restoration <laughs> center. <laughs> I, th I thought they were You can buy couches couch. and play basketball. <laughs> I felt <laughs> So, so, hey, so, I said, why they restore this? I thought he got it from a, a warehouse. Tell, tell the audience what you're talking about. I'm just I'm talking about when I went to your home and you had a big couch. Oh no, I'm not talking about I'm talking about oh. this while you're asking. You are me to sick. Go home. You are sick, you're not feeling well, you have a headache, you've been walking around. I got them bad. It's rubbing bad. your head, and we've asked you to just leave. To leave. We all all agree. Like, like we got this. But when did that happen? When? Just do your intro and walk and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Because we have to stop this and rewind. You're not going to muddy up our pod today. No, I know how Adam 22 felt. These niggas are empowered. <laughs> stop, yo, stop. You got a headache? Oh, oh, he was doing a different kind stop. of power over there. Hey, yo, Park, can you say something? Fox, oh, yo, uh, tell your man, because he listen, he look at him. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> just leave. Do the intro I want to pod. Flip would have turned up so bad. It's not about turning up. It's about That's like, what it is. Y'all did one little pod without me. Now y'all can't wait for me to look, get look. the fuck out. Y'all was in y'all bed. Ice, the projection of his voice is not the same. Look, he tried to yell. It, it's not working, buddy. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it is. Buddy. <laughs> buddy. It's not. Nah. He got a headache. Yo, listen. And I'm starting with some smooth, smooth, some Kenny G. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> my head is pounding. I just want to tell everybody it's not our fault. You know what I'm saying? If my man fall asleep on the couch, we try to get him to leave. <laughs> we would remove him physically. It's four of us. One, two, three, four. Three. Well, you got his man over there. He, he, he going to turn on us? Corey going to turn on us? I'm not lifting another. Oh, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> still be, still be four. still be four. One, oh, two, right, four. You got it. Me? Yeah, I'll help you up. Okay. Oh. Look, I'm feeling better already. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I just feel like the ultra side, like I knew I was fucked up. I was in Mercedes. I start taking my clothes. I start taking my <laughs> hoodie of my head. Yo, yo, it's not kind of place here. <laughs> oh my! I just Lord. feel like you know we, we we took a vote and I feel like it was we, hot. we we ask you we gonna you know we want you to do your intro, uh, do mm -hmm. the and then yeah, leave. Can I? Give you ten oh, minutes. Thank you. you got thank ten you. minutes. I I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Give you a time limit. Microphone check one two. What is this? This is episode six two three. Welcome to episode six twenty three of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest sister Mel is here. When Big is. Flip is here. Uh, fucking uh, Ish, what's his nigga name? Ish is here. <laughs> fucking Ice is here. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Erickson is here in the back. Uh, they changed Ish's AI art. We got a new one? They did. They upgraded him. They, they, he got an upgrade. He I came on the pod and, and begged. He begged. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah, we, yeah. Heard, we heard that cup rattling, that change oh. rattling in your cup. <laughs> And the guy immediately made your book on fire. You know, he did some smooth shit to you. He just turned Drake, and turned Drake to the side. And he left a little front view. He made me a he bigger made, hippie. He made yeah. parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This nigga Which, I part. mean, I identify as a hippie, but it, I think he went too far personally. But I mean, you know. It's a nice cardigan. But I like the, <laughs> I like the other guy, though, who put the aux cords around that, you. That, that was fire. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. Hey, yo, the real AI dude, do something with parks and the cables and the wires and make him look look like a threat somehow. <laughs> God damn. How's everybody feeling? Feeling good. Amazing. Feeling great. Feeling good. So good. So good. How, How you good. feeling? How you doing? Oh my God. You trying to set me up to get out of here. I feel great. I, could, I couldn't be better. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, stupid. She came out of nowhere when you old, yo. 
What? <laughs> Go lay down. No. All right. If you mess up, I the broadcast. people need the people need me. They need you, but they don't want you. And my team <laughs> needs me. Mm -hmm. What? What are we starting with? Where do we? See, it's these two. I knew it would be these two. What, what the fuck y'all making all these noises for? You hear him? <laughs> oh, no, I made the noise too. It was three. They got you. We try to get you out of here. We try to get you out of here. You look, you look horrible. Oh shit! You look sick. Look at the shoes you, you wore today. You gassing it. Yeah, he's fire. He's fire. He's all fire. Yeah, but you it's, not, it's not your fly you shit. Where we at? Oh, it's not my vibe. Yeah, he ain't seen me wear sneakers in years. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't seen you wear designer domestic sneakers. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. True. very good, Ish. <laughs> Look at you fly. Oh, he says oh, them shits was forwards. Look at yeah. Phil. Yeah. Phil. Phil. <laughs> Phil done tricked y'all to think this is domestic. <laughs> <laughs> Because they set up in Oregon, huh? Nike. Yeah, I know. What do y'all want to start with? You tell us. You know where Mel wants to start. <laughs> it's burning a hole in the look at her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that why she's sitting here looking like this? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, go yeah, ahead. Ladies first. Ladies first. Let's get, ladies first. Let's get I ladies first. Go ahead. Mean, did anybody notice that the Met Gala happened last night? I did. My wife, wife made me watch the uh, live stream. The live stream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So did you guys happen to come across any photos? Saw J-Lo. You saw J-Lo? Tell our predominantly male audience all about it. Okay, well, the Met Gala is a gala that happens annually, and it's always very, there's always a theme. And it's always fun to see who shows up and who looks like, you know, they understood the assignment and who looks like they smoked crack right before they got there. Damn. Mm. Wow. Um, okay. yeah, crack so, shaming. Yeah, right. This early in the pod. Sorry. Crack yeah. Yeah. No, you right. know, listen, hey, listen, what you do recreationally, I don't give a shit. Um, but this theme was to pay homage to Carl Lagerfeld, who was the creative director. Big call. Yeah, who was the creative director of Chanel for a very long time. Mm. Um, and so there's a very specific look to Chanel. There's the tweed suits. These are very iconic. So Tiana Taylor, she had like a take on a tweed suit. Oh my God, she just looks so good. Her body is stupid, but she looked great. Um, Rihanna closed down the red carpet. She came as this really big flower. I forget what the flower is called. It starts with a C, but it's a signature of Karl Lagerfeld's, you know, um, just his identity. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I saw a cockroach and I saw a guy dressed as a cat. There Those were the highlights for me. <laughs> <laughs> there was a cockroach there. I don't. It, about it, what? It, I thought. I thought. I thought. Uh, Jared killed the cat. I like the cat. So the thing with the cat. Oh, it's Jared Leto, right? Yeah. yeah. He killed the cat. Um. So the thing with the cat. Carl Lagerfeld had a cat. Um. His Shufet or it's something a, like that. Was one, no. One of his. One of his things in fashion. He always has a cat too. Yeah. But, but he. The dude with the funny glasses and the cat are yeah. two of his little. Staples. And he, but he also had a cat. It was, it was every, he went we everywhere it. with this fucking cat. <laughs> White cat. Um, and so Doja Cat showed up with cat yeah. makeup on. She looked like she was out of the play. Cats. Yeah. And they, they were quest talking to her on the And she would and not she answer. Answer. She answer. She just she would say meow. Meow. <laughs> well, I mean, she started off saying moo. So she just mm. playing with the animals. I love Doja Cat. I love everything about her. I love how th theatrical she is. I love, I, I love how too. she sticks with. I love her. Me too. I still too. Yeah. yeah I don't care, I don't care what she. I don't care what she was doing in them rooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. right. <laughs> the bar is in hell. Really? Go you're, ahead. you're not a Doja Cat fan. I am, but when she expresses her artistic genius differently than that. Meow. Yeah. Oh, other than the meow, the cat. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I thought it was genius. This is y'all. You thought her speaking is, in cat was yeah. genius? I, I thought she, This is y'all with the baseball pitch again. <laughs> no, I loved it. That, I mean, this is like, that thing y'all do with each other. Like, oh my God, she meowed. Wait, <laughs> she is the Madonna of her time. <laughs> <laughs> that woman, who can compare? Who can compare? I just, oh, I love her commitment. I just do. I, I, respect, I, I respect. I love her commitment. And fashion isn't just about, you, you know, putting on like fancy haute couture clothes. It's about committing to the theme. And, and I just, meowing I, on listen, camera she's, she's, when being interviewed. Was she a Gemini? Doesn't this make sense to you? Like no, she's, no, oh, like, no, 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 sorry, right. Libra. No, she's oh, okay. a Libra. Right, cool. um, but she's, I don't know, so big fan. So you're right. Go ahead. Yeah. Dirk says, <laughs> do something, something somewhere, yo. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm want to hold Mel to the fire. Because True. Because if this is her shit, then let it be her shit. Tell, tell me some more. All she done told me was somebody was a cat and a roach. 
Okay, so Jared, 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 tell me who she thought was best dressed, worst dressed. I'm getting there. Yeah. He, you guys wanted to know about the cat. Okay, so Jared, <laughs> is this the I nine five? Jared, like a- shut up. J- Jared Leto showed up dressed as a cat as well, um, but then he had like on you know an outfit underneath. Who did I think was best dressed? I thought that Cardi B is always like the one one of the favorites to watch on, at the Met Gala. She looked incredible. Yeah. Um, I thought that Puff had that shit on. Yeah, you, Melissa's too e entertainment for me. Uh, Puff, Puff looked Puff great. had that shit. Let, let's get let's get right to black people that yeah, we yeah, care yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, Puff yeah, looked yeah, amazing, yeah, yeah. right? And Puff was there with Wait. Shorty, who mm-hmm. said, "I'm off him now." Uh, that's that, well, we gonna talk. No nah, more. What? That's Puff. Uh, it's listen, not, it's let, not let, her let's decision get, when she off him. Let's get to the nigga shit. Yeah, he was there with Carisha. It's not her decision. But when Carisha she off just you know told right? us for weeks she was done with it. But it's not her decision. Well, they basically. I'm not saying they that. were. Don't say that. Ice. I'm not yeah. saying they about to tear ice. ice. I'm not saying that about. I like Carisha. I, I like, like her too. too. I'm not saying when her. you're dealing with certain type of folk, when they can make a decision, you could be matter. off. You could be off, and then when he call, you back on. Why are we acting like this is not Puff? That's why. That's what I that's fucking say. Exactly what I, saying. Yeah. You can't say it's that, not her decision, Puff. We, we it is. That's Ice. Remember, you had a problem before. Ice, chill out. <laughs> Stop saying that nigga. You know Yo, me. It's about six niggas. Ice is second to me. <laughs> it's me first. I think <laughs> Ice might be have me beat actually. Ice. Wait, wait, what? Be, 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 no. No. About six niggas done talk to me about Ice. <laughs> I had a conversation a, about you. A bunch oh. of niggas done talk to me about Ice. But I still think I might be first. I still you might definitely have first. I still still got it. You're right. definitely first. But anyway, what what were we saying? Oh, so Puff, shout out to June Ambrose. Mm-hmm. Wow, the way that she continues to lace Puff and Hove mm-hmm. in a way that like them two niggas always look different. June Ambrose is one of the most is the premier stylist she's in her. this business. Like she's, she's I remember when I started doing music videos, June Ambrose was styling me and I did not know that I was in the presence of fucking greatness. It took a while to kind of understand that being fresh off the boat from Canada, but mm-hmm. I mean June Ambrose is, is your like boat here? I'll, I'll, I mean, you, you know. Like, June A. <laughs> Which way did she's you her. go? Shout out to June. She's, no, she's, she's anybody, amazing. Anybody want to say something about Janelle Monáe and these outfits? Uh again, understood the assignment. She's, Excuse me? she's super theatrical. I loved it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I love somebody this. who will like commit. So to you watched everything at the Met Gala, right? Um, like you watched it all? I yeah, bits and pieces. You know, can you I watched, explain, can I watched you, can, a lot of it on. Um, can you explain what Lil Nas X was doing? He was jewelry encrusted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought that Pusha T looked great. That's a nice little suit. Yeah, That's a nice little number. Wait, hold on. Janelle Monet. Oh, She's wearing an umbrella. An she umbrella had an umbrella on, man. Man, get out of here. <laughs> she had multiple outfits, actually. She's like a lost well, we're talking about the red carpet outfit. <laughs> um, Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she looked... I loved it. I mean, where you else... Like the are you, umbrella. Where else are you going to wear that shit? You're not. You're not. At exactly. all. Let, let me ask you. In you, your do house. You, do you just love her? And it's like, whatever she do, we just going to love it because it's her? No, women. Because I see a lot of that with certain people. She looked like that shit. What's that shit when you got to clean the drain out? It's like a snake of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> Plunger. Yeah, yeah, she looked- somebody said that she looked like Violet from like Willy Wonka. But, you know, she's, again, she's somebody else that she like. She's so beautiful. Though. You look, you look she's forward. So, to- she's so beautiful. She though, is. That <clears throat> you can't help but notice the fucking outfit. That's skin. But that's the problem. When they beautiful like that, they, 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 they can do whatever rest they want. Rest in peace, Joan Rivers. I miss Joan Rivers. Joan, R- Joan Rivers. Joan, Joan, Joan Rivers will tell us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was uh, her. We, we, we left it to Mel. Yeah. And she has it. Joan Rivers is fire. Everybody's fire. She does great. Fire. The meow is great. <laughs> Joan Rivers is fire. Okay. Well, I, I did not like um, Brittany. Um, what's her last name? Gren- Spears. Griner. Oh, okay. Griner. Yeah. I, I hated I hated her <laughs> outfit. I, hate, I didn't like her wife's outfit. I thought it was... Not on trend. It was oh, super basic. It, I don't. It was so like, you didn't like nobody's outfit from the LGBTQA. Uh, oh shit! Oh. Yo, <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else did I like? I, did, I wasn't a fan of um, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade's outfits at all. I loved that. Oh, more LGBTQ. <laughs> Yo, get, get, get out, get out. LGBTQ. I, knew he, I knew he was coming. They're not yeah. LGBTQ. They're uh, not. They're, they're just allies. They're, they're allies. But I just I did I didn't like their outfits. That just wasn't a, wasn't a really big thing. Okay. Fan. Yeah. Anyone else? Um. I mean, when Rihanna took the flower off, and I mean, she's just in all her like pregnant glory right now. So she's all just like boobs and belly and beautiful skin and face. And- you like ASAP outfit? Yeah, I mean, I like the two. I like the two of them. They're both like 
So did you like his outfit because he was with Rihanna, or you liked his outfit for him? No, the Rocky feel was kind of fire. Look, okay, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just asking, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, one? Yeah. He had two. The kilt with the uh, tux jacket. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is there anything that you want to inform us, Mel, that we missed at the Met Gala? No, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, like you could go online. Fashion Bomb Daily does all the coverage of um, the the outfits. Um, you know, outfit of the day on Instagram. Uh, New York Cut. You know, it's real easy. Vogue. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah. Shout, shout, out to shout, shout, shout out to Tiana Taylor because she was the real nigga that took the Chick Fil A in there. Mm. Mm. Like that's the kind of shit. That, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout, 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 <laughs> shout out to my sis. I love. Yeah, her. we ain't. We ain't oh, this bullshit y'all feeding us. We getting Chick Fil A. We want chicken and fries, yo, with the oh, Polynesian shit. sauce right there on the table. And you know that food takes a bad long to come out. Ah, yeah. So the so them that. chicken sandwiches are, are they're great. Okay. All right. Yeah. Big Mel. <laughs> Mel. Oh wait, what's the chicken sandwich? Hold on. She gave us the Chick Fil A review. Who ate the Chick Fil A? Tiana. It was. It was Tiana. Yeah. yeah, it was Tiana. Real nigga shit. Shout out to you, Mel, for that wonderful Met Gala recap. Uh, you cursed me out. I'm just trying to give you acknowledgement. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. you, Ireland. And that. shout out to all the people that was there that shouldn't have been there. <laughs> for real, y'all look great. I, Leave I, her alone, y'all. Ice I'm, Spice? <laughs> I'm on the opposite I wasn't side. saying that. I'm on the opposite side good. of that. Because I woke up to a lot of people saying, why was Ice Spice there? Why was uh, there was another young lady that was there? I'm on the other side of that, right? These people started naming people that are more famous than these people. But these people have a company that's willing to pay the $350 ticket, $350,000 ticket for, for the, the table. Mm. True. We are investing. Mm. Salute. We're investing in these people. True. This girl, these are girls without albums yet, girls with hit songs that have already made millions and millions. Yeah, somebody's going to pay that ticket shout for this them. look. It's important. That's dope. It's important. So I want to shout out to all those people that early in your career got this type of, that's fly to me. Mm -hmm. That's fly to me. I agree with it that way, that makes it dope. Yeah, that, that, nobody, no, hey listen, nobody paid for me to go to Met Gala. I was about to yeah. say, that shit is. Even though exclusive. I got to thinking, if we all wasn't so cheap, we all who? No. No. Keep going. No, no. I want to hear <laughs> you, you said the table was 350? <laughs> I want to pause right now. <laughs> this I'm is, asking. No, no, but I want to pause, remember, so we can get right back to it, because oh. I want to talk to you privately right now. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> is this what? a real thing? Is this Are happening? we stopping? Yeah. Did you actually pause? We're stopping right now. Wait, I'm like, no, wait, parks wait. don't stop. Oh. Y'all stop. I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> we talking outside? No. No, we talking now. <laughs> so after the last little Patreon and whatever, this nigga cash at me. That was doing. <laughs> oh, he did it like, during. Yeah, yeah, like I did. I opened up. I didn't see yours. No, I got I, it for I, Ice. I yeah. said, yo, huh? I did mine back in January. I was saying it on oh. It just sat there and expired. <laughs> it was bothering me. It was bothering me last part. That y'all kick my back in, and the, some of the fans agree. That like, hey, nigga Joe is wild. <laughs> Joe, ain't gonna, Joe, ain't, Joe ain't gonna pay at work. <laughs> so then I was like, damn, these things might have a little point. So then you cash at me, and I saw your little stupid light skinned face in my ass. <laughs> I ain't getting no money. Yet. And right I'm when I'm about I, to resend mine. Hold up, you gotta resend it. No, 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 nigga. And right when I was about to hit pay, cash I remembered what happened. Uh oh. I remembered what happened. Look, look at the goalposts running. I owe him five hundred dollars from a bet that we lost, that I lost to him on like a Giants game or something stupid, mm -mm, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is my regulation. Correct me if I'm wrong. You are wrong already. Keep going. Though. Oh, to how am I wrong? Keep going. That other thousand dollars is from when I asked these niggas to call their girls on air. Yeah, I said that. That's keep going. And then I said, wait a minute, these niggas want me to pay them for calling their girls on air? I wouldn't have called so, them without so that caveat. I wanted in there. to ask my niggas face to face if that was the case before I paid. Yes. Y'all want me to pay y'all for calling y'all girls on air? You yeah, made that's the, the Y'all knew that was a lie. That's the only reason I called. But them. I lied. <laughs> so you asked back, which is what it's been saying don't about you. The lies, yeah. you anyway, asked. but go ahead, because I didn't mean to stay on this. That's just, not why. Right, I want. I'm a hit. I wanted to hit pay in front of your face like a man. Uh, well, hit mine too, because I just reset. <laughs> yeah, hit mine. Hit mine well. I gave you five hundred dollars to pay for the furniture when it came one day. Look, look at Ice. Get out of here, nigga. See? <laughs> yeah, Yo, no, don't do that. Yeah, you gonna wait a Yo, second. Yo, you asked you me on 70. I've been waiting since January. Yo, pay my man and pay me too. Ice making me mad. <laughs> what? Ice gonna say you ain't just paid him. Because it expired. You did it on camera? You fronting to get paid a man. 
at the end of the bottom. I start feeling bad. I'm home thinking. Why you all, ain't, why I'm you home thinking on the all, I'm home thinking of all the times Ish on air has said, "Nah, nigga, you don't pay," and I'm laughing yo, it off like a dodo. Did you say the mad time? It took me a second to no, be like, "Oh Joe shit, be like, yo, let's Ish bet. want me to pay." <laughs> like it's just no, it's but you not do that. be calling our bets, Joe. A lot. Joe be like, "Let's bet it." Facts. Yo, hop, put some money up. So back in the day, we bet you, we record, right? Yeah. Back in well, the day, you, we, you wanted to be documented, no, no, no. right? Shit. <laughs> I didn't say that. Get your bread, Haki. Get your bread. Uh, your bread. It's your not. <laughs> That's yeah, not that's why Corey. I don't like these niggas. Corey. They treat me different because I got money now. Corey. But they know. What? Listen nah, to y'all treat me different. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Corey and I different. made a bet. Corey and I made a bet on me losing weight. Mm. I lost. Did I pay you? No. Yes, I did pay you, nigga. <laughs> I, I, where we from? We pay back. Like, or we run it back. I want to or we can run it back. back. What, but, but that's, that's, that's what you run it back for. But how do I don't you? think that's normal nigga shit. You can run it back. Losing weight. You can run it back. Huh? Betting about losing weight. But no, it's, 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 it's a conversation, though. Yo, we gonna run it back. I don't like the nigga that I lose the bet, then I see him again. He all in my yo dog. That's not what I do. Yo, 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 see how yo, you see how narrative narrative Nancy yo. starting to yo dog every day I kind of work yo dog. I'm just yeah. saying. No, what happened? I didn't say that about you. <laughs> you know the nigga wanted to bet again. And no, like, hold up. We still got a terrible. Come on, here. I, did, yeah. I didn't want to stay. What was we talking about before? We were talking about the. I knew you were that. No, we were talking about after that. Oh, we were saying. Who was at the Met Gala and who shouldn't have been there? True. Yeah. Oh, that is what happened. She was. Ice spice. No, the tables. The tables were three fifty. Oh yeah, you said, oh, you said it was. I was saying, yeah. I did have the thought for a split second, if we all weren't so cheap, or weren't so, uh, I want to hear this. Poor. <laughs> well, no, I it's stopped it. I stopped it before I even got to y'all. Okay, I'm like okay. three fifty. I started doing some math. Dubai carried the one. I said, I'm like. Nigga, we can show up to the Met Gala and promote the pod. Mm -hmm. But then I start looking at these outfits that they got on. Those cost. No, I'm going to have that shit on. I, and, I, and it's going to cost. And cost a lot. And guess what? And it's going to cost. And, and I'm going to go bankrupt to have that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> you say whatever you want to say. You can't do that after, for two years, you've been telling me that we as black people Need shop to, too much. We wait. take our money and give it to the wrong this places. Is Met Gala. <laughs> Tell them again. This is Met Gala. Joe, J Lo was there. <laughs> I've met J Lo. I haven't. <laughs> that black and white she had on, I'm gonna have black and white too with a little red. You know what I mean? Woo! <laughs> if I have to go on the enema diet, I'm gonna come in that oh, Met Gala looking like something. You'll get on the table? No. No, for the Met Gala, I starve myself for six weeks. But it's just losing weight, look good. No, I'm yeah. gonna starve myself for eight weeks. Stop talking about J Lo like that in front of Big Mel too. <laughs> if it's running to J Lo, <laughs> Mel, you understand, right? Yeah, I mean she's bad. Thank, thank you, look, yeah. Hayden. <laughs> look, Hayden. Look, Hayden. Yeah. That was Hayden. Yeah. We got her. Big up. Yeah, I mean she's bad. She thought about it. No, she said she's she tried bad. to find a loophole to hate. Mm, no, a hate loophole. J Lo is super bad. Super All right, bad. shout outs to everybody that mm -hmm. was at uh at the Met Gala, man. Y'all look y'all looked great. All of y'all. Yeah, you should make that happen though. Except Ace at Rocky hopping over the fence. Oh, man. That was funny. He used somebody's. If I'm, but I, I can't say nothing about it because if I'm Rihanna's husband, yeah, I'd have took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you? What you yeah. gonna do? What they gonna do? <laughs> nothing. nothing. I'm taking the shit on the pull, carpet. That's art. Yeah, pull up. That's art. That's art. That's that's art. art. I don't to tell you. Pull up in a fucking <laughs> Cannondale after running riding to the gym. <laughs> Yo, that's why some niggas. Yo, my bad. Some niggas couldn't have no famous wife because we would shame her. We would, we would so <laughs> misrepresent. Like, Yo, you gotta stay home because you just don't know how to act. Yo. <laughs> that's why you married me. Yup. All right. What else? What else? What else is important now? Yeah. All this shit is kind of important, actually. Um. Shout out to Surf. I spoke to Surf. I spoke to, to surf. surf. I see. I see a lot of. I see a lot of reports going yeah, on. A lot of about speculation and reports. Surf out so here. A lot of speculative, speculative shit. Uh, so he pled guilty to RICO charges. So like he's facing like what? Like he's facing thirty years. 30, Long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's facing thirty years. But what you're facing ain't necessarily what you're going. To get. Yeah. No, I get it. Listen, Surf is in. <laughs> surf. How many lives cats got? Nine. <laughs> He that got more than like that. a little tiger. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is like a super hybrid lion cougar. Thundercat. He is something else, boy, but he sounds great. 
He's doing great. He he sound like niggas offering him seconds for lunch in there. And, and he tweeted, he said, yeah. to whom it may concern, 30 years is simply the maximum time I can get if I went to trial and lost. Keep calm. Yeah. He has a good understanding of what's going on with, with his case. And Wi-Fi. And it's enough time that he good with his little tablet. Yeah. He was like, I got my little tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you niggas get a tablet now? That's how I talk yeah. to him. The tablet. Yeah. On the tablet, huh? Mm-hmm. Ten cent a message. Shit, now that's, that's going to make me feel like I'm in jail when I'm sitting in my room on my phone. <laughs> jail, <laughs> jail niggas doing the same shit I'm doing. No, they not. <laughs> you, you, nigga, you looking at the skyline. They looking at some concrete bricks that say Kiki was here. Mm. It's a little different, but it's cool. Go ahead. Nigga, I had to take a shit the other day when I walked in my house, and I ended up taking a shit on my first floor. I don't never take a shit on like my first floor or the second floor, whatever. Just not my bathroom. And these man close to the wall. <laughs> that shit was mad. <laughs> Yo, you can't. You, you can't, can't really shit like that. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, you can't. Really wall right in. No, <laughs> <it's this shit. laughs> wall right in front of you. Yeah, like, you can't get busy. That's like, then I did this. Look, that's <laughs> <laughs> like a regular New York apartment. Wait, Yo, I turned to the side on the, the shit. Listen to the privilege. Oh, oh shit, my God, I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him on that one. Forty-five degree angle. What the fuck is this talking about? I'm with him. Yo, this nigga's stupid. Yeah, sometimes you gotta, you know. That one little thing made me think about moving for a second. <laughs> yeah. I, I start looking. All right, all right. I start looking all around. Like, That's a lot of shit. <laughs> this is a lot of shit. Oh, all right, what else is important? <clears throat> Yo, shares friends are hating on her, mm. and mm. they've been trying to hate. And I'm here to expose them. Let me hear this. Oh yeah, you want to argue with me about? This. I don't argue. What do you mean? Let's hear it. I want to hear how they've been hating. Shares friends for the Our last lady. year or mm-hmm. whenever homeboy got away from Amber mm-hmm. been using public tactics, blogs and publicists and all types of shit to, to shit on what they was doing to try to get their friend away from the young, handsome, popping, mixy nigga Talk that Cher is all head over heels and in love with, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So their worry has been, as they've expressed, hey, Cher is worth $360 million dollars. And she seems to be running through it fast with old boy. Now, I dropped out, and I'm no mathematician. But it's going to take a little longer than a year that's for a, her to go through that's a hell of $360 million <laughs> with old boy. Mm. I don't give a fuck what them two niggas is doing. So then I said, well, her friends are doing the right thing. That's what I would do to my friend. I would, if I had a concern, I would voice it. But the concern ain't he treating her bad. The concern ain't he's not affectionate, he got other bitches. The concern is he, he young broke. and popping and she got money. He broke. And if they gonna do that, women delegation, then I vote for the men to start doing it too. Facts. Because oh. we be doing all the spending in the universe. Hey, hey, hey. And I don't hear nobody tap homegirl and be like, get away from him. He's bad for you. It's too many double standards here. This is nasty. This is hate. On the side of Cher's friends. Let that nigga keep fucking old ass Cher. Young Jiggy nigga. They sitting there saying, do that, don't marry the nigga. Mm. That's hate. Mm. That's hate. That. What, what, would that consensus be the same if, it, if the positions were reversed? If it was an old dude that was up 360 mil, but it was a popping pretty young woman. You know the answer to that. That was satisfying him in all the other areas. Uh-huh. I don't think that the sentiment would be the same. It would, the they would say, go what, girl, congratulations. Exactly. The, and, girl, the, and, girl, the girls would say that, but his niggas might tell him, yo, don't marry this motherfucker. That's her, her, her homegirl saying that. So to flip it, to make it an exact flip, it would be his homies telling him, yo, have fun with that little young thing. Don't marry her because now she's going to inherit all your shit. That's, that's, hate. Not, that's not true either. Hold on, but they broken up. You know that, right? Cool. Yeah, they're broken they're up. They're broken up. Cool. Mm-hmm. AE share and, and share. And, and AE. That's yeah. what we're saying. Yeah. yeah, no, they're broken up. They, like, there's they, no, It's not like an engagement was called off. Like she There was never off, engaged, it said. Grand yeah, opening, and there was grand never, closing. Yeah, grand we're, opening, grand we're closing. We're saying that they broke up. What yeah. No, but you were chastising the friends like they were still in a relationship and they were just hating. Yeah. No, because that's how they started. That's how it started. While oh, Cher it. was still oh, in got a relationship it, got it, got with Homeboy. Now they have broken up and all of the reports say the same thing that they've said for a year. Mm-hmm. Got it. They say the same thing. Cher is not 
This isn't her first rodeo. She's not stupid. That's what I'm I don't. I, yeah, what I don't. I don't. I don't think that her friends really influenced her decision. I, you I, old hags was hey. hating because she <laughs> got a young jiggy nigga to long dicker and put her into a pretzel. Stop hating. But he got bread. Hold yeah. on, pardon me. Yeah. He got bread and she bought the, the ring. He ain't buy that expensive ring. She bought it, nigga. She did. That's how a young jiggy nigga do from wherever he's from. Stop hating. Go on cougars.com or, or, or youngin.com. No, no, go on some other shit.com. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that sounded crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they hate it, man. Come on, man. Here's the thing. Cher keeps a youngin. Like, she has always, like, dated. Like, ever since her marriage to Sonny, like, ended, she's always dated Rest in youngin. peace. Rest in peace. He rolling, he yeah. rolling around she's right always, now. She's always dated younger guys. Long, long time ago. She have a fun with him. No, yeah. But then <laughs> on to the next. But the, but the conversation is about the optics. Yeah, the, the optics were that he was enjoying her money. How old is he? He's like 35, 36. Okay, because I was about to... And she's like know. 72, 74, Let me tell you something. some shit like that. Homeboy mm. is on a hell of a run. He is. Amber's a friend of mine, so I'm going to shut up. <laughs> but he is on a... He is on a unprecedented... He's like Wilt. So, <laughs> out here. And not because he dated Amber, but because... In that situation, I think people unfamiliar with him was looking at him like, who the fuck is this duck-ass nigga? But then the more you learn, it's like, oh, you're doing his numbers in LA. And then you see how Amber's responding after the breakup. It's like, ah. Oh. Then it's like, oh, you got it. Like, and then he move on to share. That's a big, I've been in it. Y'all want to have a real talk here or not? We yeah. do. I've been in that spot. With I share? I, no, I'm just oh. saying. Oh, shit, man, that's hate. That's hate, man. Of, <laughs> Clarification. You you could be you today, and you could be a whole different person. I just thought he was one. Of, I just thought he was one of them niggas that got in a place for free and just came up. You know, one of them niggas that yo, let me get in that party. They keep referring nah, to him as like he, an and music once he get in there, Why do we? Why do we? See, that's the fucked up part. Because he ain't worth three hundred million, he gotta be no, a punk. No, I'm just no, I'm just no. Ish, well, you know the nigga. Saying. We know what we talking about. Okay. Let a nigga. Let right now you go with Joe, right? Mm -hmm. And you get into somewhere. Mm -hmm. Joe say yo, go in my place. Once you, once no, you, I'm with Joe. Listen. I'm with Joe at the Met Gala, I, and I bump Once you make somebody. your rounds, niggas, no more ishing, Joe. It's niggas, that's ishing around, nigga. You and J Lo shit that we see you, we won't see you in the pod no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't that. <laughs> like when you. we did our research on him, he wasn't that in L.A. Like he, he was him. He's artsy. Him. Got it. I'm cool with. I move around. I do this on my own. And the nigga came out and said, this one told me too, after that amateur, he was like, yo, my bad, I got a sex addiction. It's like, oh, only the illest of niggas have a sex addiction. It's him, Eric Benet. <laughs> I ain't Joe. never hear one of the little ugly niggas come out. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we got him! We got him! <laughs> you the illest of niggas. You got a sex addiction. You, you the illest of niggas. Me, you accuse me of spreading narratives oh, that are untrue. Man. But you do it as well. We are potting, bro. This is a podcast. Oh, what? This is a podcast. You know I just said. You said what? That that fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, got a we potting. I like that. We are Ladies potting. and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we are potting. All right. Um, what else we got? What else we got that's important? Shout out to Cher. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to hating ass friends. I do want to make a quick aside and say I was wrong about that Jack Harlow album. That Me shit too. is fire. Me too. That shit is fire. And he was rapping about shit that I want to hear. I went I back and listened. Right. And shout out to you. Definitely owe an apology for that. I was 100% wrong. Ooh. It's yep. that first week projections was like 45,000, 50, 50, Yeah, something mm -hmm. like that. Definitely was wrong. Good album. Real good album. For sure. I, I get the hype. Same. They My know. bad. Drama ain't hit y'all up, right? They're going to say that's payola. <laughs> First off, anybody that fuck with me know I don't do that. Like, if I don't like it, that's why they fuck with me. Because I'm going to tell, I'm going to say I don't like it. I'm going to keep it a buck anyway. Or Shout why they me. don't fuck with you. Hmm? Yeah. Or why they don't fuck yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Salute. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. What else we got here? What else we got here? That's well, in it. music, um, Dirk is claiming blackball. Expound. Smoke. What? Literally what I said. He's claiming that the industry... Well, tell Melissa who okay. Dirk is. Okay. So, what's so Black Lil Dirk means. is a rapper from... <laughs> he's probably one of the most popular he rappers is Chicago, in today's hip-hop. And from the Chicago. Bible. I know there. Oh. who he is. <laughs> and he... he, he <laughs> came out a little... Hey, Black Ball means... You can't do that. You can't do that. I just asked the question. 
Well, that's against like rules. You can't talk slow. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with her? This class coming does up. it all the goddamn time. No, oh, she, oh shit! Wait, wait, we, she, caught, she, we caught. We caught. Wait, oh, we caught. Yo, at least get a baconator out the deal. <laughs> Yo, get you a large yeah. frosting. <laughs> What the fuck? Ain't get no milk. She ain't get a, a, a hungry smoke snitching. break. This nigga said, Man, you get crazy. She ain't leverage nothing. She just start you telling. Know. How you hungry snitching, yo? That's crazy. <laughs> but anyway. Yo. Yo. Oh, what y'all was saying? But, um, but yeah, so he, he, he he's claiming to be blackballed. You agree with him? What do you think about this? Does no. he do numbers? First off, every major artist, I ain't even just rap no more, is, is putting a dirt feature on their project damn near. True. You have every look, damn near possible. You be performing on the, the Tonight Show, all of that. You, like I don't know what else you could get that would. What evidence did he the present? The opposite of black. What ball. evidence did he present that he was being blackballed? What did he say? His words, his tweet. That's all. That, I mean, his his post. He didn't present any evidence. Got it. So he's just talking shit. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I do know he has a project done. Um, they were they were. Pictures floating around of him and J. Cole shooting a video for the project. Mm. I don't know if this is just something to get people talk. I don't know. Yes. But I mean, to call blackball, <laughs> because mm. is it because NBA? You are the exact opposite of what a blackballed artist looks like. They said, um, and I want to get my words right NBA has 100 entries into the top 100, the first artist, or uh, the youngest artist. Okay. To have, you know, billboards posted that. So, see, when I see numbers like that, though, especially. Out of like, like he just dropped a 34, 35 song project. Like, Young boy. Yes. Okay. Like within the last month. He's dropping high quantity. Got you. Mm-hmm. So it is, and, and has a big fan base. So it's very easy. If, if that, let's say that entire project charts, even if it's for the first day, mm-hmm. it's very easy for him to put 100 on a chart. Shout out to him. But it sounds like ESPN numbers to me. Like they can find a number to fit anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just don't get. I don't get back to Dirk. I don't understand what you're looking at that would have you think you're blackballed. That sounds like uh, just drumming up some some conversation, which is smart. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't be so dismissive to his thought just yet. I'm not dismissive. See, I just happens. don't understand it. I don't see what you look at. I do know that when artists feel and say they're blackballed. It's sometimes it's a lot of times it's difficult for the public to ever know what they're referring to, right? Mm-hmm. Like I was screaming I was blackballed ages ago, and it looked like I was blackballed to me. But fans had no idea. When you say that term, it speaks to so many different things that should be happening in your career, and then they're not happening. But fans don't know that. So Dirk may be talking about lack of support from Apple, Spotify, playlisting, YouTube. Mm. Uh, yeah, he's probably talking about all of them. Yeah, it could be. But every time, ways. okay, he hasn't dropped a project since the seven two two zero deluxe, which was la- early last year. But that whole album was fire, and yes. people re- responded to it like it was fire. I bought it twice. Correct. And then even that I when don't the album dropped, respond. all shit, boom, boom. Mm-mm. We get it, nigga. Mm-mm. That that song is why I don't hang out where y'all hang out. <laughs> <laughs> that when that song, <laughs> when that come on. <laughs> but like even that though, when he drops, you got everything you just named. So let's say hypothetical. he gets the support from you his get fr- all the from support. fans and friends. No, I'm talking about when you open Apple or you, you open and they show that rap. Playlist or whatever, mm-hmm. his face is there. I'm telling his project you, is there. I'm they placing you. him. He gets it. So let's say, or, or got it, or got it, or got it, got it, got it. Because he's talking about current. Yeah. You haven't dropped anything. But, but how do you but know stop, he hasn't been stop, trying stop, stop, to stop, drop stop. for the last yeah, six stop, months? Yeah. And they could be stopping yeah. it. That's, that's, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Because something could be going on behind closed doors where he been trying to put his project out, and they like, no, you gotta do X, Y, and Z, or no, you ain't do X, Y, and Z. So now we're not putting as you. That's not blackball though. That's but not blackball. That's your label saying, no, we're not ready yet, or something like that. That's not blackball, depending on what, yeah, what they're not I ready for. I need more for. information mm-hmm. before, you know before I say that, because I'm with Ish. While you working on your album, everybody know when you 70% done with your album. Everybody know when you 80% done. Like, like the label. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. and, and your crew. Okay. So, so your team now know at what point they need to reach out to Apple when YouTube and whoever they do their branding deals with. They know. So if they're not getting feedback back 
And they bring that back to Dirk. I can see how Dirk is like, oh, niggas are not fucking with me right now. Mm. And I can think of a few reasons maybe as to why. But I got to see. I got to see. Mm. Like, I'm even looking at the... But him the, doing that, it comes across... I'll tell you what it comes across as. It comes across as I don't have <laughs> the backing or support for this run to beef with the person I was beefing with while they have all the support. I am waving the white flag. Do not expect me to outsell this person, uh, outnumber this person, outperform this person. I am blackballed. Mm, that makes sense. I would get it Because when way. you're beefing with people, you're not beefing with people. You're beefing behind whatever their marketing budget uh -huh, is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Their machine. Yeah. How much money is behind them right now? And you could look at NBA Youngboy and talk to anybody from Atlantic, even through their beef that they had, and know what the temperature is on him out there. Hmm. I'm buying a Dirk album regardless. Fact. Facts. He'll do numbers regardless. I just read something. I'm not going to say that, but I'm buying it. Because what's numbers? We don't know. He's coming off his Drake record uh, last year, two years ago, yeah. right? Jeez. And then that last album was so critically acclaimed. It was so well received. You expect the trajectory to do this. So if you're mm. looking at the label saying, we put another album out, then we want that same return or more. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, psych, you can't blackball a goat. So I guess he was just Yeah, talk his shit. Yeah, he said, psych, he posted it, psych, you can't blackball a goat. So I don't know. He said he wasn't blackballing out. I think it was just something to... Get people talking? Get people talking, it yeah. It worked. Nigga, it did. Nigga, yeah, because I didn't know that. Like that when, when that album coming out? Might drop in two weeks. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the way he's, they're talking, like it's done, they ready to go, but... I mean, he, with him, I can't he want a single. You yeah, know, I, I can't, can't wait. wait. Not, me neither. I can't wait. You know, it's cop. You know, yo, he me. killed that. Yo, you know me. On a Swiss beat album, that record, he killed that verse. You heard his oh, verse? Oh, you said he killed that, and I thought you was going somewhere else for a minute. No, so, no, I'm sorry. Whoa. No. no, easy. <laughs> Go ahead, though. Did a good job. I was like, oh, shit. I don't man, know. He gets busy. Yeah, it's my man. Yeah, he gets busy. You all right, headache? Yeah, my head is pounding. Yeah, What's all right. We, we good. Yeah. Ten minutes past. Come yeah, on. Man, slide over. Ten minutes past. Come on, slide over. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yo, bro, yeah. you messing up the broadcast, bro. Yeah, why? Right. It's gonna be messed up. Then. <laughs> oh, oh, let me read my notes. <laughs> oh shit! Let me read my notes. Okay. Uh, oh shit! Look at his head, look, look. Keeping it at home um, in music. Mm -hmm. So Ed Sheeran is. Uh, he's currently. Fighting off. They got him. Stop fighting. playing with the gays. gays. I they keep got telling y'all, the leave them alone. Yeah. Stop playing with the gays. So now he says, wait, 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 what? Stop playing with the gays. <laughs> no, he's right. Marvin, e, Marvin Gaye e. family. Well, gays with an E. Yeah. Leave them alone. God. Leave the gays alone. What, what, what do you thought he was talking about? What do you mean? LGBTQ. What's your problem with them? You, you, you I, had it? Oh, don't start yeah. that shit. I'm not. <laughs> start. Why do you say that name? Okay, don't you being shit. biased. You're picking and choosing. Not even a little bit. I just wanted to make sure don't you. Don't pick it too. We just talked about picking and choosing earlier. If you knew what you were talking about. Marvin Gaye's the estate. Yes. That. They would, if you acknowledge them by their surname, they're considered the gays. <laughs> right, am I wrong? Yeah, no. Yeah, they're the gays, yeah. I'm no, correct. He got it. They are. He got it. They are, man, for real. Oh, she tight. And they're suing everybody. Everybody. What? They want a piece of all this shit. They don't play. They don't play. Leave. But who is it going to? He got sons. I need to. He got an estate. He's got an estate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that estate to me, Ish, please? Nona Gay is his daughter. I don't know, no. All right. He might have grandparents. He might got whatever. So your estate is whomever you decided to leave your shit to. Got it. And they pass it however they want to. Boom, 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 boom. Got so, you. nigga, if I get $100 million, that might feed my grandkids. Got it. The, that estate conversation is a very important one that we have to come back to later got after it. we do a little more research on a few things. Got oh. you. But... Uh, I think that was the story was recently that Pac's mom tried to stop a deal. For, oh, no, that was Michael Jackson's family. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson's family is not who owns his estate. Mm. Yeah, that, that's frequent. That's the same thing happened with Dilla, actually. But, but that, owning that happens Dilla. often. Yeah. But, but owning don't necessarily, it don't necessarily be ownership of your estate. 
you can be in charge of someone else's estate. Like an executive. Well, that yeah. can be that too. Remember, I went to court. Mm-hmm. Right? Sometimes it could even be in the family. I think actually Dill is, mm-hmm. the estate is his kids and his mom is doing a different thing. And it'd be fights, like, yo. Yeah. It'd, it'd be, be bad. Fight. It, it, it should bad. be a fight because it's a lot of money in perpetuity after someone is no longer here. I was it in court last week. Especially one of these super legends. Like, but I was in court last week. It was. I was in court literally last week. Mm. One side of the family was sitting over here. The other side of the family was sitting over here, and they was <laughs> in the courtroom. My nigga, they was arguing in the courtroom. Yo, nah, they was going crazy, and it was sad to see like this big black family. And they, it was mm. like ten on this side, like twelve on this side. They went outside in the hallway. They was yelling and screaming. I was like, damn. Did you hear how much it was over? Like how much the estate was? It was over? a couple houses. Like yeah. they was talking about property and shit. I am being. Like, yes, they I am. was talking about a couple houses. They like, yo, you. Won't even let me in the fucking house. I can't even go get the pictures. Like they was going crazy. Mm. All of that stuff was in charge of one dude. Mm, okay. He was the executor of the estate, yeah. and he wasn't playing with that side, but he was rocking with this side. Mm. So mm. they hands was tied. So now let's just say hypothetically, it's your mother. Mm-hmm. You can't even get in the house to get pictures or some shit mm-hmm. from your mother because this nigga won't open the door. This mm-hmm. nigga's in charge of the estate. That shit gets real, real, real touchy. That's why I bring up. Listen, everybody here watch Succession. Like mm-hmm. this conversation mm-hmm. is an important. I bring up the importance of it though because, you know, the Marvin Gaye family coming for theirs joke has been ongoing for some years, mm-hmm. and it's Facts. always been one of my favorite jokes. This time I didn't laugh so much. Why? Because he's the only one that owns his estate. When you say he, Marvin Gaye's family, Michael Jackson don't. Oh, own you mean his. out of the greats? Oh, out of the greats. Bullshit yeah. going on with mm-hmm. Prince. Mm-hmm. Like there gotcha. aren't many. And when mm-hmm. you know what the music business does, we got to start championing that a little yeah, more right? for mm-hmm. our families yes. to be in charge of the fucking legacy of some of these greats. Like Dan Michael Jackson's family they sell. Sold, yeah. They sold they Sony rights. For like eight, nine hundred million. Well, no, because that's the deal that allegedly I want to be more researched gotcha. on this. Okay. But that's the deal that Michael Jackson's family was trying to stop, and allegedly they got there too late. But that nine hundred million dollar sale of some of this. Mm-hmm. Mm. And listen, truth be told, listen to this. Yeah, the you Bob Marley's family owns his estate as well. Who? Bob Marley, his family owns his estate. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't love that as an example because you can mash up a lot of songs and they fit together. I would. I would need to personally go through and this match, listen to them back to. Yes, you're back right. To back. But this mashup happened after the verdict was in. Like this is just someone showing the verdict. Is what, the verdict's in on that. They lost. They Charlie lost. So he really? says he's quitting music. He vowed no, he's, he's quitting music wait, wait, as he, a result he, of that. And okay, wait. He went to court in London, right? I thought they were still in court. First, and then they said something. Oh, I'm under the impression he already lost. And this, yeah. this, I, I thought, thought it's a $100 million dollar I, lawsuit. I thought he lost before. They also sued um, Robin. Didn't they sue Robin Thicke? Yeah. yeah they, and, and they, they, won. Won. they cracked, cracked him. him. They cracked, 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 cracked him for that one. <laughs> we are the gays, <laughs> and we are here not to play. They <laughs> crack. No, they're still in court. They're still in court. Okay, they're still, they're still in court. court. So there is no verdict. He's going to quit music, he said. He's tight. They gonna get him because they taking niggas' monies, bro. Right. They taking all your royalties. Sharon was mm. called to the stand Tuesday to defend his art before the court, telling jurors that he composed "Thinking Out Loud" independently with British songwriter Amy Wadge, who was not named in the lawsuit. Sharon played the chord progression to his hit song and sang on the witness stand in Manhattan Federal Court. If I had done what you're accusing me of doing, I'd be an idiot to stand on stage in front of twenty thousand people and do that. The musician said. He also added, it is my belief that most pop songs are built on building blocks that have been freely available for hundreds of years. That's facts. That's a fact, but there's also ways to tell when you're stealing some of the building blocks. Nigga, ask Peter Guns and them what Steely Dan did to them. That's different. That's different. Everything. That's different. That's a whole sample. That's a sample. They took the actual record. Oh, it's the actual record. Okay, They took the actual record. So what did he do? And they didn't take the record. They negotiated that, Peter Gunn. When Peter Gunn, oh, well, he didn't. And when they called the Sony, uh, the record label, they were like, uh, no, we want all, all the publishing. They, yeah, they negotiated after the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, happens, which happens a that's lot. That's normal. You, that's, I was about to say, you say that a lot. Y'all going to yeah. learn about not getting these samples cleared. Yeah. Nigga. Now your song go out and overperform whatever you thought it was going to do. And now the original author of the shit is going, hey, here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need all of that. that a, it's, a, it's a slap. I love that shit. And they were but, cracking uh, jokes. I'm telling And, and they're going to sit back and wait till... Uh, Wait till your shit finish. Go, 90, Go ahead. 90 million. Yeah. Go ahead. Top of the charts. That's it. Sometimes they take 100% even in negotiation. I think it was Tup, 
that I heard on Maps podcast talking about uh, I think it was Big Brother off graduation, and it had a Prince chord progression in there, and he was like, "Oh, you can use it, but it's I want one hundred percent." Yeah, for sure. And then Tomb replayed it because he's like, "No, you're not taking." I don't, I don't, I don't get up, nothing off that. Yeah, they said this, it was some crazy amount of money that Puff had to pay Sting. They still pay yeah, him. That, he still pays him. Two thousand a day. No, that was, no, that was they, they, they was ended up saying it was jokes. That was, that was, yeah, that was, was jokes. Yeah. But I saw yeah. both of them talking. Yeah, but they yeah, both said they came out later and said they was playing. Yeah, they gotcha. Yeah, yeah, but. But I'm sure that cost a lot of money. Yeah, yeah it, sure. did, it did. It did. Yeah. Big record yeah. too. Yeah, very big record yeah. sure. for sure. Yeah, yeah that shit gets tricky, yo. I, smoke the shit. I think that that's the future of uh, my bad flip. That's the future yeah. of the AI shit. I what do you mean? It gets handled just like this. Tell me more. Uh, with samples and just how how it's used with likeness. Like, if you go put a record out AI of me and it does well. Mm-hmm. I can come back to you later and negotiate, but that's after they sort it all well, out. That, that, that is the complicated part. I think I touched on this in our last you did. one of our hundred allegations or uh, arguments about AI is that AI is not really AI and that it's a computer making shit up. It's taking a, a amalgamation of a bunch of people's shit mm-hmm. and then putting mm-hmm. shit out. So everything that AI creates is actually derivative, even if it's not using Drake's voice. Mm-hmm. Sure. It's just taking chords that they learned from someone else and putting it together. So, it's but, machine learning. It's not really AI. But that's but that's scary though because yeah. But machine learning, machine learning to me is all right. That's a new version of streaming or the new version of whatever they couldn't identify to put in a contract before. True. Yeah. No doubt. But let me ask you a question. I'm sorry. Ish. Go ahead. If your record does well, right, and you uh-huh. don't clear the sample, and they call back and they went 100, percent do you have to give them? But you made yes in the one hundred four yes oh, yeah. retro- shit. everything actively yeah I want it all really I every, want it all every single not moving minute. forward no, no that too no, both no, no. that too all, all, <laughs> all of it all of it backward sideways <laughs> forward cartwheel <laughs> yo that's uh, it's electric it's fuck boogie that. boogie <laughs> boogie <laughs> all, that. Send yo, all of it send it crazy dog so let me ask you right um how do you now sue like just say hypothetically Eric Sharon wrote the song and his people's he's saying wrote and or arranged the song uh-huh. but if it was an AI song quote unquote how do you get somebody on the stand to say yo they they did copyright infringement when it's not a human being well you would still be suing the you person sued. that profited yeah, off it yeah. and mm-hmm. I actually read an article about this today well, put it out nice uh one argument that people are making for a how to move forward with AI is to have like truth in um the programming. So essentially, you can see where they pulled the shit from to make this. Obviously, that's fucking a long shot. Damn, that yeah, impossible. But that's it's greedy. That's not going to happen. That's but my point. That would be the only way. Instead, of like, oh, this is what we use to manufacture this gotcha. song. So X Y Z gets X Y Z. Yeah. Joe, you know who else went through that? Fab went through that with Breathe. I remember. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Took the whole shit. And yeah. shit Everybody's lot. been smacked at some point, but yeah, this is not. It's very common. It's, this is very common. Because are the are so, the are the people charging a, a big amount in the beginning? Like if you want to use this sample, or they just negotiating that shit from the jump? Some, some people. Let me tell you where it get even deeper. Right? Yeah, we'll do that. We're like, yo, I want it pump, all. Pump it up. It's out of here. <laughs> pump it up. Was out of here. I had whatever portion I had. Just play, the writers had to write it, but then the sample was split between a few people. But they were fighting over ownership of the sample. So let's say it's two people fighting against two people, which means all the money gets hold up, held up until they figure out what's going on, which could be a yearly thing. Mm. So nobody eats now if there's a dispute. So you don't want disputes. Full circle. Got that, it. That's what happens in the estate shit, too. Mm-hmm. So all of us brothers and sisters, and we have an estate beef, it's $100 million hanging in the balance. Mm-hmm. Nigga, as long as we beefing, that hundred million oh, dollars right keeps mm-hmm. hanging in right the balance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nobody gets a dime until we settle this. Mm-mm. That's yeah, because the publishing company is not ever going to be held liable for paying the wrong amount to the wrong person. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. To when y'all figure it out, we'll pay. Let the money be here. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Collected interest. But I was a new artist, right? Who is making the bulk of my money off publishing? It's like, wait, I'm not getting nothing. So now you just get advanced. That's a whole different. It's a whole different game oh, now. Shit. Now you get a loan. Yeah, that's a loan. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, that's crazy. It gets tricky out there. They do. Yeah, they your got, fan. Got to I, be I'm careful. very curious. I, I want to actually sit down and analyze uh, those two records though, because I'm curious. The the um, Robin Thicke one was really interesting because he didn't actually sample anything. It was a feel. 
Which yeah. is not copyrightable. And that's how they won. Which is not copyrightable. Yeah. That uh, actually, I'm sure that they're gonna um, uh, try to go back on that court decision. Wait, 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 what, you what do you mean it was a feel? A feel. They 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 won the gay family and shout out to the gay family. Won strictly on they stole the feel of the record. What? Did, the only wait, things wait. you can copyright in a, right. in, in music is melody and lyrics. What? So how did they win that fight? That's a, that was a copyright, Ta-da. huh? Ta-da. So wait, you saying like, yo, this just felt like my record? Correct. Yes. But it did feel like it. It did. Absolutely. You could tell it was absolutely inspired by that The record. melody was not. The melody was not the same. The lyrics were obviously not the, the same. The lyrics were not the same, yeah, but the, the melody, that was what I thought that they won. They won on. They feel, won on. Which is not a copyright. Which song was in question? Uh, hey, hey, hey. Blur Lines. Blur Lines. Blur Lines. Yeah, it's five and, million. Yeah. Uh, oh I thought God. it was like seven. What's that shit? And called? what song um, were they saying uh, from Marvin Gaye? Was that? Um, like, I don't remember. After right the now. dance, is that what it's called? No. Got um, uh, oh, got Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. Yeah. Yeah. It says for copyright infringement of Gaye's 1977 <laughs> hit song. Gotta give it up. How does Gotta give it up go? Gotta give it. Up. <laughs> a lot like Blurred Lines. It yeah. sounds a so lot. So now hold on, yeah. but then a how lot. is it? Like Ed Sheeran, you you gonna pay, buddy? They got him. My dad called me, and look, it's tricky look, with this I sound knew it was and shit. <laughs> yeah. My dad called me and was like, uh, "Yeah, the, the gay family is bugging because I don't hear it." And I thought that was so interesting because my dad is a musician, a musician. Uh-huh. and I'm mm-hmm. like, if he can't hear it, then there are going to be some people don't hear. I hear it immediately, even without the I didn't. Up. I didn't until you just played the mashup. And it, uh, mm. I didn't hear any. Well, let right. get it on. I mean, Ooh, it's, 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 plain, uh, yeah. it's plain as day to me, but I could be wrong, and I'm not a judge or a jury. So we'll see how this plays out. So could that be that a would that, would that be a, tricky? Would that be a feel thing too, or would that be? Well, more, they're gonna. I'm, 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 I'm melody. I'm stupid. I'm gonna assume that they're treated like prosecutors, and any, th- anything stuff, that man. could apply, we throw into that. So it's right. feel, melody, or we, we try. Nah, Parks, it, it, it's, it's cool. Ever since you, I hear it. Damn, Look. it's nothing Let's else but that. I hear it. Yeah, he pitched it's, it down. I hear it. <laughs> Go back. But you can apply the same core. You could apply the same melodies over the same chord progressions. I'm, I'm interested I'm no if lawyer. the melody. Is. I'm no lawyer. I don't know. I just got ears, and I, that sound the same. I love that song, and I did not put two and two together until you played that match. Put the share shit again. Put the share. That's just stick a here. It it does. Does. Okay. Okay. He got a pay box. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to piss. It's over for him. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, pay, yeah. You gotta pay. pay you gotta pay. <laughs> pay up. No, none of the laws. And quit music if you if that's how you feel. But, nah, I don't you know, that's a hit one for blurred lines. Ed, Ed, Ed this one is for walking the dog. I mean, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> what? But I'm not sure they should have won. He got him. <laughs> the game family got him. Blurred lines. Blurred lines. Five million was, was definitely. Hey, matter of fact, Parks, when we feel. put this episode out, take that sexual healing part out, please. So they don't. <laughs> Boom. Blurred lines. This is gotta give it up by Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, this is shit right that's here. Sa- that's not the same thing this as blurred, blurred lines, my nigga. Yeah, this is for blurred. sure. No, they, they jacked them. They jacked them for sure. This is more than a feel, though. This sound. This this sounds like melody. Yeah. Like they took the melody. It does they took. Sound like melody. They took the. Listen, peace, man. It's they got them. Hey, hey, they got them. Hey, they got them. Hey, hey, the Gaye's hey, is suing yeah. all you niggas. <laughs> Come on, Paul. Well, I see you tapping, just, you're you're tapping them pull ones oh, real hard. Sure. I know, sure. I know. But that's the melody. Hey, hey, hey. lines. Hmm? Yeah. Paul, they got them. They got them. They got them. They got them. Yeah, they got them. But you're, you're, you guys are uh, uh, conflating. <laughs> it feels like it. It feels you're, like you're it. conflating the feel, which, I mean, I love this it guy. is. <laughs> He's dead again, Paul. But I'm talking about the actual letter of the law, and it's not lyrics or melody. So. They shouldn't have won it. If what but you're saying the, is the correct, but if, but if what you're saying is correct, then why did they win? I don't know. And that will set a precedent now if they won. Because I'm disagreeing problem. with your field take. They hmm. stole more than the field. Had to. They stole more than the field. I got ears. That shit sound the same. It, it does. does. I don't know what the technical term for melody yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not a music guy, so I don't know that what, shit what sound like. constitute melody. I just got ears, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what would constitute melody. So, hey, the top you, you cut them shits on? Oh, it's like a... Y'all the lucky that the, the, gay, the gay family lawyer was on vacation when a Dorn came out. They'd have got it, Miguel ass. <laughs> 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 
little sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are leave his samples Yo, maybe alone. Up, I mean, they should can't. definitely leave Marvin Gaye family alone. Please, but some of this shit does stifle creativity. Wait, hold on. It does. Oh. Every every musician oh. and artist oh, has borrowed some shit. I've heard Joe well, rap right like way. Tupac or or whole. Yeah, when he was dead, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <dead. laughs> <laughs> 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 Oh, is a no, living organism. Ma- Marvin Gaye is right there with his ear to the radio. <laughs> hey, that's my shit. Y- y'all keep saying he did. No, that's my he shit. Mad. He mad a lot. Oh, he done multiplied. He got mad gays listening to the radio. <laughs> Yo, on, on listen. Just on. That sound like that sound like. That sound like oh, and you gotta have money to go to court. These yeah, niggas is taking yeah, you to that court. That sound like one of all the flaps right there. Like, I'm right, right, there. right there. <laughs> Whoa! They probably got a family member whose job is to just Yo. listen to the. Radio. I'll do nothing else. Get up and just listen. <laughs> just listen, yeah. listen. Hey, Yo, the company's right. got people to do that. Yes. Why wouldn't a family have somebody oh, yeah, sit there sure. and do that? Especially when you got millions to gain, and this is putting us through. We got one. It's a hundred million a clip. Yo, yeah, it's putting us through college. Nigga, college. This is putting your grandkids. <laughs> no, I'm saying your grandkids. Just bought us to college. <laughs> the school, the whole school. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga. So Ed Sheeran says he's gonna quit music. Mm-hmm. If he loses, right, well, okay. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. If he loses, he probably shouldn't quit. He's listen. Gonna, he's you gonna, white, you whites are not a novelty in hip hop anymore. Like he's mad at y'all. <laughs> what you mean? Man, if Ed Sheeran quit, he's mad. Even in hip hop. No, you know how many times that nigga done freestyled over one of our shit, <laughs> singing some shit? That's how he broke. Yeah. He does come from hip-hop a little bit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't know that. You let that little 17 shit fool you. <laughs> <laughs> when it ain't Marvin Gaye, it's Big Daddy Kane and all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> NWA and nah, all that. I fuck you know with that. I fuck oh, with that. Man. Mm. That's funny, son. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Finish out with music. Um, it's more pop, music. Yeah, pop smokes. People are saying that the labels drained his pop smoke. People did not say that. Mm. His producers. That's different from his people's. No, his I'm people's as in. And the pe- but we got to be clear, okay. especially yeah. during the state conversation. Uh-huh. This is the same producer that was mad at the release. He been mad yeah. at the people handling Pop Smoke for a little while. Mm-hmm. So the news coming from him, you take that with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. And how would he know? We put him with some other producers. <laughs> well, what's the beef, though? He says that he just, he says no the, the vault has been drained. He said, yeah, he uh, says that the label the, has like drained the vault. So there's no more music. Uh, oh, because they put all, all. Of the posthumous yeah. stuff out. Yeah, yeah. I, I can, can assure that. you yeah. that may be true, but may I can assure you he didn't get that from Stephen Victor. <laughs> that may be true as well. Gotcha. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. We don't know how closely he worked with. Hey, like, that's I don't, that's, I don't that's posthumous that. hate. Mind your fucking business. I was about to say though, it ain't like he's just gonna have music till eternity. Right. At some point, it was gonna, gonna be drained gonna at some time. He's yeah, but you know, rest of peace. But, but, but don't you announce years. that it's drained to step on whatever motion we got from the last album, whatever hype is expected. We might could get some some other shit mm-hmm. off. We could yeah. sell mm-hmm. some things. If you come out and say, yo, it's all gone, ain't nothing, it's over. Nah, that could be dangerous. Very. Yeah. For business. There's business involved here. Shut the fuck up. And you also, wasn't involved in the business before. And also, it wouldn't be the first time uh, that they took some shit that already existed and repurposed it. They did it with Pop, they did it with Biggie, mm-hmm. they did it with everybody this past. They ain't got you. Yeah. Now we're going to take the acapellas of what we have Damn, and do man. some new collabs. We got yeah. the AI now. We don't need to take the acapellas of the that, old that's shit. That's true, too. We, now we can, make, we can really make new music. Brand new shit. We don't need your old lyrics. It's a fact. Don't AI Joe Button because I was nice. You robot niggas, don't f- come fucking me. <laughs> you know what's getting me about the AI, and I know we talk about this all the time, but why is it just hip hop? I don't see anything. I see Whitney Houston. I see no, all okay. kinds of shit. Just yeah. it's not. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Yeah, but, it's but, in but, opera. It's, it's, it's in jazz. Oh, so I've, yeah, yeah, I've seen. I've seen so Whitney just Houston. On your timeline one. might be just more hip hop. Yeah, that's yeah. Because I saw Michael it. Jackson and rapping down girls. for my niggas, and I was just like, yeah, yeah that's that's, that's, that's my Instagram girl. one. That's my Instagram. No, no, that is mine. No, no, one hundred percent. You heard Michael Jackson rapping what? See murder down for my niggas. How'd it sound? Oh, well, you yeah, have okay. I, I, I feel like I need to hear this. I certainly don't, I, but I guess I will. I have to hear <laughs> this. I'm, I'm Nobody needed I'm to hear this. At all. Come on. <laughs> no, you. You're not curious? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> only you. I, I got you. It's only you. The utmost new respect. Damn, damn, me out for the piece. I, I, I marked it and everything. I was like, I had to send it. 10-minute pause now. To play some bullshit. All right, let me play this. 
What's wrong with your brain, yo? Just listening to the flow. <laughs> Jackson, man. Yeah. Ice JJ. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta let him get his verse off. No, we don't. You gotta let him get his verse off. No, we don't. Ice. Ice. That's it. That's yeah, it. That's that it. don't sound like Michael. It don't sound like Mike. I'm just. This is what Holy they. This is what shit. they're doing and playing around with the fucking they are doing. They gonna get it though. <laughs> this shit is in the infant stages. They gonna perfect it. Huh. <laughs> I see why that meow was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's start, uh, Hello, how are you? How do you no, feel start, today being, you know, on the sense. red carpet? Meow. It's starting, it's, starting, it's starting to come together a little bit. Holy uh, shit, that was fucking hilarious. She stayed at the meet. Mm. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oh, gotta, while we on AI, you want to talk about that uh, godfather of AI from Google okay. leaving Google because he would like to talk about the dangers of AI without thinking of the best interests of Google? Yeah. I don't know how true it is, but it sounds true to me. He's um. You guys, uh, let me find his it name. Sounds, it sounds he, he's wild. apologizing damn near for like helping AI advance this much. He was like the AI. He said we're reaching a point where you are not going to be able to know what's real from photos. Was this a real photo or not? News stories. We're getting to that point where you damn near can't believe anything. I'm, I'm I glad, feel like glad. we've been in that. I know that life for a while. Yeah, but, but y'all called it trolling. They're about to really do it. No, that's really <laughs> that's true. And that's it. again, a lot of times with the AI shit, you could tell. I think as the, as it advances, oh, yeah, you're not sure. gonna be able to tell. That's what he's saying. <laughs> like this, they're just gonna improve upon the technology, and sooner or later, you're not gonna be able to tell. So honestly, we could come up here and have a pod, and none of us be here. Yeah, but y'all should come. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, like seriously. No, no yeah, but well, we could be at home talking. With our voices, but caricatures could be sitting right here on the AI is going to cause a lot of people to lose their jobs. What happens when we most of America the salaries a little bit? Today. What What happens when most of America <laughs> lose their jobs because of AI? Where does that leave us? But there's also going to be new jobs created. <laughs> like what? Not a tuning same. up the AI. I love, Not at the same I love scale. When you yeah, the AI. I love, I love when you be Montel Williams. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's not at the same scale. It's not at the same scale. It's gonna be a lot of crime. They are saying that three hundred people world, three hundred million Talk people about worldwide will lose their jobs as a result of AI. That is damn near ninety percent of a United States. Like so, if, let's say you took the United States of America. We got three hundred thirty million people. Mm -hmm. If three hundred million of them lost their jobs. You're not going to replace those 300 million jobs with AI jobs. It's not going to happen. It's, it's impossible to scale like that. So what do we do? Do we just, what, sit back and wait till it happened? Now, according to him, he said we need to take a step back. Like we kind of, he said right now AI is not smarter than humans. They didn't predict that to happen for at least 50 some odd years. But he said with the way the advancements is going, it's going to be much faster than that. So and his, they're scared. Like, so his name is Jeffrey Hinton, um, and he served as Google's vice president, and he's been called the godfather of AI, et cetera, et cetera. So in the New York Times, um, uh, he said, he clarified his reason for leaving, saying, um, uh, the report implies that I left Google so that I could criticize Google. Actually, I left so that I could talk about the dangers of AI without considering how this impacts Google, he'd said in a tweet. Google has been acting very responsibly. Um, but he also says that um, the, his voice is concerned about the progress of AI and his regrets about his role that he's played in the mm -hmm. advancement. I console myself with the normal excuse. If I hadn't done it, somebody else would have. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's basically like... It sounds scary, though. It, it Very really scary. When the people that were responsible, like, okay, we could all sit here and people always tend to get, um, when new technology comes, like, you know, cell phones see your grandparents. I remember. You know, what I the remember. fuck? Like we not. You know, people tend to get afraid of change. Mm -hmm. But when the people that's actually programming it and responsible for it are like, "Hey, we might have fucked up," that's when it gets scary. Fam, he sounds like for those of the of us that have done criminal shit before. Yeah. Like you, like dog. I ain't sell it. Somebody they would bought it from somebody. Yeah. He's saying if I didn't have input in this piece of tech. Mm -hmm. That he's fearing could have 
vast negative impact on the world. Mm -hmm. That's something he got to sleep yeah, with. The article, that's a different ballgame. The article goes on to say that more than a thousand tech, um, tech leaders and experts signed an open letter calling for a pause in AI development to give the industry and policymakers time to come up with a set of shared safety protocols and advanced AI design and development that are rigorously audited and overseen by independent outside experts. Well, I agree with that. Shit, and you yeah. got, but you got to remember too, maybe the government will be behind us to, you know, because in these days the next war would be... That's what I... Yeah. The next war ain't going to be computers and shit. Yeah. We at tech. war. Be yeah. tech. So what I'm saying is that maybe the government would want that. Yeah, yeah, go go mm. destroy that shit. Turn off all their power over but there. Not right? even, but in not Russia. even that. The 2006, Darkness. The, in 2016 election proved that yes. war is now digital. Got it. You know? Understood. So. I'm with them. Shut that shit down. Please. Please. I don't <laughs> want China to shit. <laughs> Y'all watch a lot of Fox News, man. No, no, <laughs> imagine Holy Parks. Shit. Imagine this, Parks. You go outside, no, nigga. We still going. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm AI'd out. I'll address this shit when they make the butter knives and steak knives. Said, in my sick nigga talking. Come float over my bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be on. For now I'm just going to unplug the router. I, I, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm AI'd out. I ain't come here every day and sound scared and afraid. Word. It's mad ways that they're going to go to war with us. AI is one of them. Fucking COVID is one of them. All these shits is one of them. Mm. Anyway, what else? What else? What else? What else we got? Y'all care about the writer's strike? I care. That's uh, a big one. The what? The, the um, WGA strike. is going on strike. The Writers Guild of America is going on strike. So yeah. you're so the four oh, major, the talk shows like Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, none of them are going are to be on air tonight. And for the foreseeable future, the writer strike is really big. It's like over eleven thousand writers um, throughout, like in you know, Hollywood, what New York. Up all the shows, yeah, back years in ago, right? 07 or whatever that was. 07. That yeah. one, that writer strike was really fucked up. Like it went it on. Fucked for, everything up. It went on for so long. They credit that with the rise in like um, popularity of reality TV because there was nothing else on TV. So many shows kind of fell by the wayside because writers were on strike. People lost their homes. They were going hungry, fucking starving. Like because it lasted a long time. And there was like a pending SAG strike um, back in 2007 as well. And that was like with the downturn of the economy. It was a mess. Yeah, it was. So this one's like. And the uh, SAG in the. Uh, SAG after? Yeah. yeah. They're also the up for renegotiation in June, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. And they're so far saying that they're going to stand with the writers. So mm -hmm. if this shit carries on, it, oh, man. it's going to so be what chaos is the out What is the complaints? The writers, uh, it, it has to do with the streaming services. And it has everything mostly. to. Yeah. Has everything to do with like royalties and publishing oh, rights and that sort of thing, like and also that. AI. Yeah, that's part of it too. That's also creating like a really <laughs> big problem. Went back to AI. Oh, it's shit. but it's true. Like it's, not Alan Iverson. No, it's it's infiltrating every aspect of you know of business. God, where at that, one man. point we relied on human talent, and now AI is coming in and you know. You're gonna describe a scenario that you want for the next episode. And AI is going to create the episode for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. in in thirty seconds. Okay, from this point forward, since y'all missed when I said I'm AI'd out, <laughs> can y'all not revert the new topics back to an AI yeah. topic, please? And, sure. uh, and that's why I'm not going home. <laughs> I you not what? I'm sorry. I'm not going home. <laughs> But your quietness we, make, we, make we, it seem like you're we, home. We were saying, look at you trying to shoot at me. Look at you trying to shoot at me. I'm not trying to, but don't 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 shot at enough. But we doing good. On, yeah, you have. See, come on, man. I've been shot at too. <laughs> you guys want to talk? Thinking out loud. <laughs> y'all want to talk about that? What? What? Both of y'all said y'all been shot at. Nah. Oh, okay. Are you sad? I'm cool too. You got to earn it. <laughs> Yeah, do your shot. What else we got? As long as they AI, I'm cool. I mean, playoffs? Knicks lost their first I game? I want to congratulate Ice and them. Which team? You. Mm. Wait, what do you mean, which team? What the Steelers did? I'm talking about the Devils. Hey, Devils fan. Oh, big jersey, Nick. That was one. Go ahead, though. I'm talking about the Sixers. Okay. I'm talking about the Sixers. They went there and did what they were supposed to do. And that's the reason a few weeks ago I was telling Ish about just the parody now. Because, you know, I, but we said Boston was going, but Boston don't look like they, they want it like that. They don't have the hunger that you see in a Miami or Philly. They're just talented. Mm -hmm. And this is a new coach. Like, I got to see more. I got to see more. Philly look like they're going in there to do what they got to do. And B, it look like might be done for a little they while. might sit for a little bit. But I'm not sure that it matters. I mean, it matters. You got to beat him. It it's nice to have James Harden there. It matters, but if James Harden we can be he James is. Harden, he kicks the fuck up. He's doubled himself down four games. Mm -hmm. 
then them boys gonna have some, some shit on their hands. For sure. As far as the Knicks, uh, losing our all-star hurt, I still thought that that was a very winnable game for us. They were up by 20 points in the third quarter. It was a winnable game. Yeah, the, winnable. the lights was bright. Our leader had the worst game he could possibly have. He put it all on his shoulders after the game, said it's my fault. I have to do better. Uh, I never wanted, as a Knicks fan, see Obi Toppin take 12, Seven threes. 12 three-pointers. 12 three-pointers. And he was the only one to hit some. But I still, if, if Obi Toppin is shooting 12 three-pointers, yeah, then we're the, we, we doing, we doing the wrong thing right now. That's bad. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, the field day that he had with uh, the Cavs front court, it's very different with Bam and Kevin Love. Mm -hmm. Anytime Kevin Love popped out for the open three or set the screen, I'm sitting there screaming at the TV, hey, do y'all not know Kevin Love? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Kevin Love threw mad football passes. <laughs> he threw like seven of them shits. I'm like, yo. Has anybody watched Kevin Love before? <laughs> At all. UCLA, Minnesota, pick a, pick a place to watch Kevin Love. And you've seen him do that. Mm -hmm. So the Knicks were unprepared. Also, I'll echo something I heard Draymond talk about frequently. The TV schedule for the remainder of the playoffs is going to be very important. I thought the Knicks would have fared a lot better at the Garden if that game was a 6, 7 o'clock game. Mm. But there's only two games playing for the day. You start at 1 o'clock. You're the Knicks. Be ready. That's you being up at 7 a.m. Mm. Get yeah. over there. Be ready to play. And they looked a little sleepy. Mm. They did. So I'm kind of glad they lost. Snap out of it. I still think it's a very winnable series for us. And I look forward to seeing what happens. I think, we'll, I think we escape with the win tonight. I think um, in that series, Jimmy Butler's health is the biggest thing. In Shit, we kind of held him in check. Here come fucking Kyle Lowry showing championship <laughs> pedigree. And he ain't do shit against Cleveland. <laughs> oh, my Lord. He ain't do nothing against Cleveland. Matchups, yo. It's matchups. Matchups, It's like yo. boxing. It's matchups. Yeah, I, but. I, Mitchell Robinson looked like a first ballot Hall of Famer against Cleveland. But it's that's the thing like about that against the Knicks, uh, Dallas, it's Yankee syndrome. I talk about it all the time. When people come to Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. you're going to get their best game. Yeah, that's true. If we're going to have to deal with throwback Kevin Love and throwback, throwback Kyle, Kyle Lowry, Lowry along with Jimmy Butler, then yeah, these other G League goofball niggas is going to kick up. I expect the Knicks to do better tonight. By the time y'all hear this, we'll already have a result. Hopefully, I don't look as foolish as Ish did when the result of the Lakers were already in and y'all were listening to whatever the fuck shit he was talking about. <laughs> yo, Nuggets might fuck around and sneak into the finals, yo. I'm still not a believer. Y'all go ahead, take they it away. They look tough. They look tough. Take it away. Well, I, I, I forgot about Jamal Murray, man. He's been out the last couple seasons, been banged up. I forgot about KCP over there. Yeah, KCP over there, too, going crazy. He over there acting a fool. They got a little squad, yo. I don't. I've never believed in the Nuggets. I'm not going to start doing it now. They, they, they look soft. <laughs> no, they, they look soft. Shit, they they Aaron looks... Gordon makes them tough. Yeah, Aaron Gordon makes them tough, but they can be Jeff had. Green. Yo, this series would be a lot better if DeAndre Aiden would wake up. He is. Look, look at him. A, he's playing like a bum. The nigga's mm -hmm. out of bounds. He yeah. ain't even doing nothing. It's, he's unenthused. He's not playing like a bum. Oh shit! Then, yeah, don't look at him. No, listen. Games. He's playing against him. Like, dog, when you got to no. D that big nigga down the other end of the court, it's going to take away from your offense. And, hold up, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton gets a lot of easy points because Chris Paul. That was crazy. Yeah. Pause. That was, that was, right? It was. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I let it go. But that was I crazy. See. They paused on you, but I'm just disagreeing with you. They paused on you. <laughs> Yo, Joker is really, really, really. We don't watch him play on a nightly <laughs> basis. Son, that nigga's great. On one, really on one great. side, he's great. Yeah. He's phenomenal on that one side. Yep. Mm -hmm. But on that other side, he can be had. He can be had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got, you say, they say defense. DeAndre takes Aiden away from is offense. out there looking like he is sleepwalking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant is there to go block the shots, even if it's a goal 10. He's trying to box out. He's rebounding. Kevin Durant is doing everything you want your five to do. Yeah, yeah I saw KD down there in the true. blocks yesterday. I was like, oh, shit, look at KD mm -hmm. playing some defense. Get, on the yo, ball. It up, get KD, it boy. Up. Weak side blocks, all that shit. He, he do anything you ask of him to win. Mm -hmm. Like, I fuck with Kevin Durant. Like, Thanks. Shout I don't think KD. that Suns team has enough talent, though. Well, they're not deep they're enough. Top heavy. They're top-heavy. They're top not heavy. deep enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I don't necessarily... Yo, I don't I hate to be that guy. It looked like the Warriors again to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. The Warriors went home game six and laid a dud. And then Sacramento niggas... Sacramento got a little Memphis Grizzly in them where they start talking a little slick. A little spicy. Yeah. A little spicy. 
Got a little ahead of themselves. And then I started watching game seven. It was the morning or afternoon when they showed Steph Curry walking down some steps. And they kept talking about the severity of the moment. But Steph Curry was chewing gum. Cool as a fan. <laughs> he was laughing, smiling. Checking the gram. One and beam. I, and as soon as I saw that, I said, yeah, this one's easy. I ain't even got to watch this one. I ain't even got to watch this one. You know what he's going to do. And he went yeah, out there no, and he did, did it. He, he did oh, that. wait a second, wait a he, second. He did exactly that. He did, right? Chemistry so underrated. He, him and Draymond, like when he wasn't getting the look he wanted or screen he wanted, he went, had a talk with Draymond. Draymond would come set the pick. He got the defender he wanted. He went crazy. That's what James Harden did that whole last five minutes of that game. Whoever that nigga is they was beefing on was supposed to set a pick. It frustrates me watching Nick games too. They set real soft picks. But timeout call, P.J. Tucker pick now. This is my man, man. Strip club, Houston, and that's a pick. I'm a yeah. bully. Yeah. And when he got that pick, he let it fly. Let oh, it go. old school time now. Let it go. A pick is important in basketball. Yeah. All no, I know our listeners don't give a fuck. But All that shit. Yeah, Steph Curry, yo. Uh, LeBron versus Steph Curry. The basketball gods shine a light down on us. Word. I want to say this might be the first time I've ever even seen a, a sixth and seventh seed in the West in the second round with this type of. It's the first time in history that the five, six, seven, eight made it. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I didn't, oh, know. I didn't know that. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four go. No, Denver's no, still there. Denver's, 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 Denver's there and. Denver's still there. Phoenix. And Phoenix. Denver's. Phoenix. No. Denver's there. I know that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying, when I saw six and seven matched up, it's weird like the uh, East with Miami and New York yeah. being yeah. the fifth and the seventh. Like, you normally expect the big seed to advance, but whatever. That playing mm. shit is dope. It is. That's how we got here. It is. I can't I can't hate on it. Yeah. Suns was four. Yeah. I can't hate on it. Uh, real good playoff so far, though. It is. Real good playoff so far. Yep. And congrats to the Devils. That's right. Round of applause. Hold up. That's important. That is right, important. What you laughing for, son? You good? Respect, respect the devils. No, I'm good. I'm good. Because you're my, you're my, you're my, you're my. Yo, real quick, oh. like, <laughs> it's so, yo, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I actually watched the, um, the devil game, right? Hockey different, bro. Mm -hmm. Dog, my man came in the game in a substitution and beelined it and took this nigga out the game. <laughs> like, he was laid on the ice. Like, he came over the wall and went straight to him. Bam! Laid him out. Gloves knocked off the whole shit. I'm looking at this shit like, in the NFL, that's targeting. <laughs> that's all ice. They, that's how on. old school NBA used to be. But hold on, hold on. It's, the commentators and shit was reviewing it. was like, yeah, it's a clean hit. It's a clean hit. <laughs> this nigga is asleep. <laughs> all his shit knocked off. I keep difference, huh? Yeah. Shouts to the devils. Fucked up. Nah, that was crazy though. Yeah, keep watching. Hey, yeah, hell yeah. I said ice. That's how the NBA, I'm going to some of them games. The NBA now. used to be okay. like, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm down there now. Steph getting too many buckets. They put. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. They yeah. put JoJo dancing. Yo, let him come to the hole. They, they used to do anything to win back in the day. Man, you you're not gonna sit here Steph, and light us up. Steph Curry boy. Yo dog. Little low bridge. Take I know. Care of I know it's a lot of y'all out there referring to yourself as him. There's a lot of him at the him Duncan. I know we all do it. We all it feels good to live in our ego for a second. <laughs> but every now and then somebody, he really shows up. Somebody show you. Every now and then Superman comes from the sky to stop a crime, won't he? <laughs> we, 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 oh my god! <laughs> that nigga Steph Yo, boy. I watched that whole game. Mm. Dog, the net don't even be moving sometimes. <laughs> Stupid ass Don Nelson different. from stealing from us. That's what Don did. That is what he did. Right. Documented. Uh, okay. You think y'all have drafted him? It's still not doing I'm asking stupid you. questions with y'all. Y'all got the greatest. Everybody that has anything to do with that Knicks organization back then said we were drafting Steph Curry after the Timberwolves struck out twice. Yeah, we were drafting Steph Curry. And Steph Curry wanted to go to New York, and it was kind of organizing a, a the little Eli Manning move behind the scenes. But it didn't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry, New Yorker at heart. Salute. We'll always have uh, what's my man Jordan Hill. Big pot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always have him. 
young. Listen, I still think Phil Jackson, Phil Jackson needs something done to him for drafting Frank Nicolatina over Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> That's sick. Phil Jackson, did you see what he said? Poor Zingas. Phil Jackson I like said. Zingas. Porzingis was a good ball player. I like Porzingis. That wasn't a terrible pick. Devin Booker went 13 that year. Yo, there's a thing about the 13th pick, yo. The 13th pick is normally a nigga that ain't too shabby. Did you hear what Phil Jackson said? I never want to hear what Phil Jackson has to say. <laughs> okay. Ever on anything. Unless Jordan, Pippen, Robin, Horace, Graham. I mean, he said he's not watching. He doesn't watch basketball oh, anymore. Okay. Because mm -hmm. of the bubble and all that stuff. and He got to shut the fuck up. Did that sound a little crazy? Like sounded like a lot of hate. He be hating. Yeah. From a ranch in Montana or a lake in Montana. You got to stop. You got to stop. They were, they were playing the racy card with that. Did, did you, it was did racy. You, do you think that it leans into the racy? Th it does. I don't, I don't. Or maybe that a person that watches basketball doesn't want to see all that. He's a 70 year old, to, a 70 -year -old uh, white man that has no idea about social um, injustice. Yeah. Got it. And he might be older than that. Some black people was defending him, though. Some people was like, I didn't want to see that shit in I want to see the game. I saw it. It's like, oh, damn. When the, when the players who have the power decide, nigga, we, we talking about this. True. Hey, he could have it the other way, which is not put Black Lives Matter on the court and not change the names on the jerseys and then don't have no bubble. Mm. Go ahead and play with them players like that if you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Facts. We'll, we'll sit out today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like This ain't 93. We yeah. will sit down. Contracts mm -hmm. guaranteed, buddy. Yeah, playoff <laughs> TV expansion. Wait, what? No, I'm home. I'm home. Can't play with these niggas. They're powerful today. It's a difference. And they, and they know they're powerful. And, and LeBron a tweet. LeBron will Quick. tweet some shit when he fin when he press pause on two chain and album. <laughs> he tweet some tweet some shit. Look. Let you know I'm the boss. And it's a bunch of marketing dollars behind LeBron and his causes and got all it. that shit. I got yeah, you. I got you. Different. I understand. The same football. Memphis Grizzlies part ways with Dip Dylan Brooks won't be brought back under any circumstances. Yeah, but this might be cock sources. I was about to say. Yeah, that might got yeah, You got to make sure. Yeah. yeah, we we yeah. Hold on. Yeah, man. I don't know about that one. Insane. Nah, hold on. And even if, even if that were true, it don't mean anything. Like you lost in the first round, so the team should be looking to improve. It says according to a report by the Athletic, the Memphis Grizzlies have oh, no. informed pending un unrestricted That's free real. agent Dylan Brooks that he will not be brought back under any circumstances. Don't bark up that tree. That tree will fall on you. Is but that, that but why? Wrong? Why wouldn't he? Be, what did he do wrong? They stupid. They not stupid. I I I theorize that they wanted to do that same thing to John Morant, but you can't. Like, I think they're trying to build culture from the top of the organization over there. And y'all went out there as the one seed or the two, the two seed, I'm sorry, and just showed y'all ass. was nothing but immature, irresponsible. You lack discipline all year long. It didn't just start in the playoffs. All year long, y'all lack discipline and received favor and grace with them whistles. Mm. I started from game one. Y'all don't deserve those whistles. Part of being a champion is being ready for that moment, Get staying in the hotel room, not making Steph Curry angry before game seven, not making LeBron angry before game seven, not dissing the coach over. These niggas was wilding all year. But look, so... so. And if we got to keep John Morant, which we will, because he's John Morant, this is Robinson Cano, Melky Cabrera in the backfield of the Yankees. Break this shit the fuck out. So, so Kendrick Perkins responds to this. He said, okay, I see what's going on in Memphis. They're making Dallin Brooks the fall guy. B.S., that free culture is who they've been for the last three years. Exactly. It wasn't a problem until they got embarrassed. Leadership needs some of that smoke, too. That is true. And oh, I, agree, well, I agree a thousand percent. They should, but how are they going to get it? Who And who's going to give it? Nobody. That's like uh, a Dana White should have been reprimanded, too. That's, we're saying the same thing here. Like Dylan Brooks is not. But all of them, Kendrick Perkins, Stephen A., they say that about Memphis since John Moran has been there has let them kind of have mm -hmm. control of the shit. Like, there's been a, a behind-the-scenes fight, they say. So, yeah, this dude, uh, Brooks has not hit enough. Look up his percentage from three points. You didn't hit enough. You ain't did enough. Of My nothing. thing is, do, as a, do you think that's fireable? What he did, like, the, the, the competitive spirit, like, I'm talking shit to LeBron James. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm here to compete the same no, way. No, I don't, you get what I don't think like, it's fireable. I fireable. like that. But, that's, nope. but that, coupled with your lack of productivity, is fireable. Mm. We cannot ever be the two seed and lose and lose in the playoffs uh, like that. 
like Kendrick said, fall guy. Yeah, somebody, somebody gotta go. I don't like that. Somebody gotta go. You saying fall guy, but Memphis had so, a successful. So we make it on him. Memphis was twelve and five, I think, in games without John Morant. Tyus mm. Jones came in there and showed out every time they were without John Morant. I'm positive that that organization felt like they should have beat the Lakers, whether Ja was healthy or not. Dylan Brooks ain't have a bad since he's been there. He ain't, I'm looking up his stats. He's not a bad two guard. Tell me his numbers in this series. Oh, in this series? Because that's, that's what I'm, I'm talking about, about productivity. Gotcha. I used to like him. Well, I still like him. I like that tough shit. I like that Patrick Beverly. I like all of that. Nah, but, but you got You got to know when to hold him. He play like shit. Um, know when to fall His highest game. His highest game. Know is when to walk away. away. And know when, when to run. run. Yep, yeah, that's, that's it. What would you say? His highest game was 15. He shot like shit. Um, but again, you're going to shoot like shit when you're defending one of the goats on the other end of the court. Like, I'm just saying, for him to get fired but for popping shit to me is terrible. Is it considered you fired, though? The, I don't think if he's a free agent. Shit, it's, he's saying it's, that for not yeah. being but popping shit and not being productive with In it. one series, or pro, he didn't have a bad season. He didn't have a bad season last year or the year before. <laughs> the nigga before. made LeBron walk to him and whisper some shit to him. <laughs> but this is not the first, but this is not the, but this ain't the first year that Memphis uh, front uh, FO, front office, felt like they should have gone further. This ain't their first year being good. Cool. So go get more pieces to make you go for Every organization goes through that. If All I'm saying is if you're looking at the team, mm -hmm. you're not getting rid of Morant. You're not getting rid of Bain. Bain. You're not getting rid of what's the big, uh, uh, big defensive player of the year? Jackson. Jack. That's my core. Mm -hmm. Everywhere else I got to try to look to improve. I'm keeping my backup point guard. He showed out Tyus. He's nice. Like, where this, do you improve your team? This just sound like it was something else, yeah. too. It might because have been. Been. that whole, we're not bringing him back under any circumstances, and we're letting all the press and the media know that, we had to talk with him. Mm -hmm. And something we didn't like. True. It's beef back there. How about I didn't like watching you for four games, three games straight at least, walk out of the locker room to your car and ignore media and press. We got rules okay, in there you place. Go. There you go. There you go. He talked to the media for three games. He, there you go. He, he with those numbers can't behave you're that way. That, there you go. John Morant will deal with. There you go. You That's nigga. It. That's it. True. That's it. Everybody right ain't him. That's true. And depending on it's what they said to you after game one, yo, you ain't going to talk to the media? Dog, nah. fuck game, game one. Game two, you ain't going to talk to the media? But, nah. But, game, all right, I got but you. you saying, I think this goes back. When John Moran was wilding, they talked to that whole team. Mm -hmm. They talked to all of them. They had to. Yeah. Remember, they, they changed their policies on them niggas. Well, we in the way games. We leaving right after this. Sure, ain't no yeah, hanging out. That. Ain't none of that. Like, they, did, they changed it because they was just doing That's too true. much. So, oh, yeah, man. Well, good luck to that, man. I don't want nobody to be unemployed, but I don't think he will be. No, he'll get a That's job. That's why I don't look at us. <laughs> he's going to get a raise. He'll get a job. It's still he'll fire. Get, most likely. Fire from here. He can get a raise. Yeah, let him go. What he, team do you think is going to pick him up? And it don't matter. You know, he he somebody didn't get him. He, somebody didn't get him. He's he a defender. Mm -hmm. He's not a bad scorer. He averaged 14 this year, 17, 18 the last couple of years. And he played hard. I like that. So he'll get a job. He averaged, he makes $12 million. So. Who? The Dylan dude? Yeah. They said they sent him to China. The Shanghai Sharks. That's a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. That's a joke. Uh oh, that's, 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 that's Coxhorse. I thought he was out of here. I'm sorry. No, nah, nah. yo, that's where Ben Simmons going though. Where we at over there? <laughs> one thirty-seven. Perfect. One thirty-seven. One thirty-eight. Seem like here it's always the, the right spot for the bullshit. <laughs> What's the bullshit? Yeah. Now you know what the bullshit is. What you don't know what the bullshit is. Oh, it's not that bullshit. Okay. Oh, any of the bullshit from? Okay, go ahead. Brian McKnight. <laughs> yes. Y'all just talk amongst yourselves mm -hmm. while I. The funny thing about Brian no, McKnight. Look at Mel. Look at my girl Mel. No, no, no. no she's going to do no, no Googling. Oh, I thought she was going to pull no, up some no, shit no, to no, research no. and help. No. No, Joe, why don't you introduce the Brian McKnight topic it. to us? I got it. Oh, it. Okay, okay. Come on, Ish. Don't I do like it. Brian McKnight, Ish. my favorite. Before yeah. we start, let Ish tell us. How Brian McKnight is his guy. Yeah, yeah. Brian tell McKnight us. is my man, yo. Come Can on. you tell us more than that? He, Brian McKnight for years has been one of my favorite male singers. Like, niggas voices like Velvet. I fuck with Brian McKnight. He can hoop. <laughs> hey, nice. yo. Jump <laughs> shot. Jump Voice shot. like Velvet. Jump it's shot is nice. You what really Brian, Googled what it. Brian McKnight did, did man. How, you make me want to Google it, Brian too. Brian McKnight, now, I've been talking on this podcast for a while. 
<laughs> Why you? He looked shocked. <laughs> About the joke being not even joke, but the no, real no joke. Is, Brian McKnight for quite some time now has had his new his stepkids in his Instagram bio, and it only acknowledges them. There's no word about him having any of his own kids. He's only acknowledging the stepkids mm-hmm. by name, individually, and there's mm-hmm. a few of them. But we notice, like, people that are paying attention, this has been the case. Got but it. apparently, Brian McKnight's stepdaughter had a birthday recently. And Brian McKnight posted, today, we celebrate you, Jules, on your birthday. Your mom and I couldn't be prouder of you and I couldn't ask for a better daughter than you. Happy birthday to the best daughter ever. Love you a zillion. I want to let you guys know, he has a biological daughter. Holy shit. It gets worse. <laughs> worse than he, that? He posts a picture of his stepdaughter and says... Jules, I became a girl dad because of you in caps. Oh, shit. Again, he has a daughter. Hey, girl dads. I'm glad we have girl dads here. Yeah, what's up? Let's fucking talk about this. Sit up, man. Uh, I became a girl dad because of you, and I couldn't have asked for a better daughter. daughter. Here's to you, Jules, the perfect daughter I always wanted. Holy shit. Oh, it got, it got better. He just had you a telling new, me or I'm I telling just, you? I just. Oh, keep going. That was, I, I know what you're talking about. He just had a newborn son. And named him. Brian. Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight. And he has another son named Brian McKnight Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's an> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, Yo, he's a piece of shit. He, dis- <laughs> he disowned he? his other son. Why? But what the fuck they did to him? We don't know. We don't know that. So you're a piece of shit. I'm standing with the family. Fuck that. He's, with, he's standing with his family, too. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's the step family. Yo, dog. 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 I'm going to go ahead. To name, <laughs> yo, to name your son, your that's, newborn, Brian McKnight, and you already got a Brian McKnight Jr., I think that's a little sick. But that shit to his daughter, all of that girl dad shit, shit. That, that is abusive, I think, to me. Like, that's... Let me not say abusive. What I will say is he clearly don't fuck with his kids. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. petty, though. It I can't. Very, very I petty. can't say. Pe- oh, the, the move is petty. The move, petty yeah. I can't say the reason that he don't fuck with his kids is petty. I don't know it, but clearly there's a lot of emotional trauma here, and he mm. do not fuck with his kids at all. At, at all. all. At all. I don't know what they did. He has not fucked with them for a very long time. For years, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. like decade. The daughter in a post written a few years ago speaks toward him really not being there and fucking with them since she was about two and three. Mm. She said, thank God I got brothers who I look up to like fathers. They take care of me. They hold me down and so forth and so on. But (laughs) this is sick. He just don't fuck with them, yo. (laughs) Mm. Like, at all. He, he like, replaced them. Here, you know what? Mm. I have an uncomfortable conversation. Mm. Why do we act like that's taboo in America? What? The disliking your children? The parents that we see all the time, kids that don't fuck with their parent. Mm -hmm. But anytime we see a parent that don't fuck with their kids, well, we talking to heartstrings because we're human and we're parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But why is it never looked at like, you just don't fuck with them? All right, he don't fuck with his kids. I know, because we parents and we got hearts. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't, don't, you're a piece of shit in that sense. Yeah. If you don't fuck with your kids. Like, your kid ain't asked to be here, I know. But mm-hmm. I disagree. They, they innocent in that. You disagree in what? Niggas leaving kids. Niggas that, Brian your kids McKnight. Your kids one of the don't greatest singers out here, bro. I'm, and, if you and, stop and fucking with you your, doing? if you stop fucking with your kids, like the daughter said, he ain't fuck with them since they was like two something years old. What she did it too? I mean, he's still to make him not fuck with her. What could she have possibly done? The mother probably. Years, I'm talking about the kid. I didn't say nothing about the mother. Mm-hmm. What could that kid have done at two years old to make the father? Here's what happened. Before you go, before you go, I got a question for you. Do you remember when you was two? No. Me neither. I used to speak in from... Why, a, how she remember? I used to speak in from a place of inexperience. Here's what happens. Listen. So, no, your child can't do anything to you at two. That, t- that child don't stay two forever. Mm-hmm. So now when that child turns five, that child turns eight, and that child turns 10 or 13 or 14, and there are exterior influences giving that child information... And the child starts to act on that information. Now that could potentially lead you to say, 
I'm, I'm washing my hands with I'm, that situation. I'm not. So usually, when when when, when things like oh. that happen, when you know it happens with the that. with the family, right? Mm -hmm. uh, significant other, you break up. A lot of times, when you leave and the children may be raised by the mother, mm -hmm. right? Which is what he said. They saying. hear these stories, like what this is saying. Mm -hmm. They hear these stories and mm -hmm. they react to the father. They, they choose it. They choose one side. A lot of times, us as fathers, we want you to be like, I'm your father as well. At least come and listen. But a lot of times, they come into the situation with prejudged already. They already have their judgment made and they're speaking from the mother or father's side. They're not like, okay, dad, what happened? Oh, what's up, mom? Let me hear you out. Right, they, already what, got, here, here, they, already, they already got the attitude, the, the, the walk. I'm, it's a lot of shit that come with that. It is a lot of shit that come with that, but be there. Yeah. That's, there be there when that kid is still too. When you nigga, leave them. I no, shoot. 50 I, was with Marquis. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Because I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it No, he's talking from a position that he knows nothing about. That's why I'm You don't have to leave it alone, but listen. Let me just tell you this. Fifth and Marquis. He been there for him all the time or whatever, whatever, whatever. But Marquise, when I interviewed him, has stated that I don't like how you treated my mom. To fifth, it's like, I'm your father. I, nigga, I raised you. You was with what, me. What, Hold on, oh, listen, listen. Right. You was with me. At least give me that ear to understand or see my, my virgin from it. Marquise, like, no, that's my mother. So when you take a stance like that, sometimes the father, whether they're there or not, don't like What's that. They're there? not standing with that. What's huh? there, man? Like, I don't know the this situation. What's there? I'm talking about... I don't mean financially there. Yeah, when I say true. there, I mean physically, physically there. there. It's a different and, and, ice. I'm and what I'm telling you that okay, is that ain't necessarily always a choice that the man or woman, depending on what side of the coin they are, mm -hmm. have in those circumstances. That shit is ideal. We talking about realism and real life situations. And oftentimes the, the second parent does prevents that and dies on that hill. They don't take into account I'm, the best interests of the child. A lot of times their bitterness and their anger toward the second parent prevents that child from having a relationship with that other parent. Okay, so is now my right? question no, to that, right. my, my, question, my mm -hmm. question to that, I, I'm not, fam, I'm, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm asking little, little. legitimate questions yeah. here. In a, in a situation like that, there isn't something that a court would be able to do? Yeah, if y'all have entered it's into It's not something as where, simple and cut and dry as people make it seem. Yo, court don't be black and white. My nigga, that shit got a thousand different shades of gray in the court situation. And then oftentimes also in the court situations, unfortunately, women get the better shake in court. Women get a better shake in court. It don't just be, yo, a judge comes there, objective point of view, and says, yo, sure. boom, boom, let's, it don't happen like that. A lot of times too, though, with men and, and boys and children, a lot of times, we don't want to say it, but the father wants the son That's true, to true. look at it from his view. Oh, or his, oh, oh, oh I didn't know what you was going to say. My bad. Like, look at it from, you're a man, I raised you as one, understand that these things happen, don't just judge me and think that I'm out here trying to make your life a living hell, it's something between you and your mother, me, your mother and I. A lot of parents are like that. Sometimes when a boy sees something, you don't know what they had going on back in the days, but as a child, you're going to defend whatever parent you may be close to or you feel the emotional bond with. That's true. I understand I, what, what all of y'all are saying, yeah. especially, uh, especially Ish. I got a little bit of experience, unfortunately, here. Mm -hmm. and, and I get it. I would get it more if it was one kid. Yeah. Got it. That was what I, I was going to say. It's like he's got, he's got so multiple. got Four, four of them four. By, yeah. before the stepkids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same person? Any, that I don't know. No. That I don't know. Because that could go lead to what he's saying if it's the same person. And it's like his, his, po his post was, like his wording know. was like so pointed. You know what I mean? It was so specific. It's intentional. It was yeah. very intentional. It's intentional. And it was direct. laced with so it's much petty. vitriol. It's like, Yeah, it's pointedly hurtful exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now that's where he looked like a goof to me yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that he, he shouldn't have feelings mm -hmm. but True. how you go about managing those feelings is totally on you that's not on your kids mm -hmm. and we in the internet era kids are savvy they reading shit they hearing shit you famous you got songs kids are made to be the joke in high school junior high Talk school about it. like kids it get rough for kids mm -hmm. it get rough for kids Kids know about hey, they know about OnlyFans. They know, whatever you're doing, Fam, kids name, know you, about. You in school and your name is Brian McKnight Jr. I think it's two and two. And you don't want him. I think it's two and, and, you, and two. you don't want your kid. So you got a name. See, if I was the kids, I'm changing my name. I'm changing my name. This this will not be the legacy that, that we continue. Yeah. Somebody mm. got to break this curse and cycle. Yeah. yeah, I won't be a McKnight, and a McKnight don't want me. 
Mm. Thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. having sex that night <laughs> and coming in her for real. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you for whatever had to happen to get me here. But once I'm here, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I just think that I think that from the outside, we look at certain information and we immediately judge it without having all the facts. Like, so I'm reading something and it says that they had a great re relationship with his kids. His kids used to be on his albums. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, they did. I'm, okay. I'm, again, I got every bar. Okay, so then what happened? His kids you used know, to be I heard one of them little niggas. Yes, you did. <laughs> you take your secret. And his son Nico and them used to be on his albums. But um, they said that they, they had a great childhood um, relationship with their dad, but it's severed terms and they're not on good terms anymore. So we don't know what led to that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I think to what Joe was saying. Yo, he's a piece of shit. You see this nigga I Paige? Don't, I don't know. Yeah, he's petty. And I, that's what I don't like. Yo, pack that shit up. I don't like that. That you shooting yeah, at your kids. I think that shit. Rest is in goofy. peace to Luther Vandross. Fuck it, I'm going. I think there. that shit is goofy. You <laughs> know, know what I'm saying? Like you got to take the high road. I think that shit is goofy. Yeah, all of that Instagram bio shit. That's that shit crazy. Come on, bro. You, you the OG too. That's disgusting. Dream come true, too. Nah, but I like. Turn about that nigga Joe. No, it's not. That's not our man. That's not our man right now. He violating. No, wait. No, no, no. Let me make myself clear. I'm not going to stop playing any Brian McNeil. No, no, we're not going to stop playing him either. No, <laughs> That's y'all fucking problem, you little whippersnappers. That's <laughs> yeah. I'm not, man, hold on. I'm, not, I'm, I'm no, still no, no. rocking with him. That's your problem, you little hoot nannies. <laughs> y'all want to erase and get rid of all the niggas with slaps. And it's a lot of slaps. He Nobody some, told y'all niggas to check up on his real kids. He got some, he got some earthquakes. <laughs> hey, nobody some earthquakes. asked y'all. He got some earthquakes, hey. but when you in the public, Listen. a public figure like that, nigga, we going to judge you. Hey. I'm judging you. Tell, hey, show me what Brian McKnight Jr. made in the studio, <laughs> and I'll make my decision. <laughs> I'll make my decision then. That's, that's the, the verses right there, right? And, yeah. it's, <laughs> and, it's, and it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Say we that. don't know if those kids gonna be traumatized and all that shit. They, no I'm traumatized because they trying to make me get rid of the slaps. No, no nigga. we can't get rid of Brian. They're trying to cancel, can't they trying cancel the slaps. Right, right Fox? Yeah. We can't get rid of Brian McKnight shit. Nah. Not for that. Especially now that yeah. all of the song titles sound like a nigga that didn't want his old kids. <laughs> Oh shit! Anytime, I don't want to see y'all. Anytime. <laughs> what, else, what else? he did? Uh, Crazy uh, love. One last cry. Crazy hey, love. Hey, this, this, better, this better be the last cry because you won't see me. You won't see me again to cry. Crazy love. Get, get that love. cry out now. It's crazy that you love me and I ain't been there all this time. It's oh stupid. man! Somebody already took the back at one. When I laughed for forty five minutes in the house. Y'all talking about Brian McNeil made back at one and y'all thought that the cuts was going to stop at his family? Y'all thought they was exempt? Back at one mean back at one. Mm -hmm. That mean before it was all you niggas and it was just me. We got to find them niggas Instagram. All Instagram. of his, I never felt this way. Yeah, I ain't never loved y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. Sure. Love y'all talking about? I never felt like that. All his song titles are shady now. And they all slaps. I ain't getting rid of Brian McKnight Jr., he makes music. Okay, but did he make... Anytime? <laughs> nah, nah, he didn't make I'm just sorry. <laughs> Did he make Did every, you, every time you go away? Huh? Oh, yeah, every time and you this, go away. And this nigga got Brian Bay like Julia has his Instagram. Yo, what if all his songs is really like titled around this? Because what does every time you go away mean? I mean, he gonna go away, man, time. <laughs> I'm leaving all y'all kids. <laughs> Holy shit, yo. These are slaps, though. And what if all these love songs is to the new family? Oh, oh shit. shit! Stop it, man! Nah, you gotta let it rock at least to the pre-chorus. Nah, I'm letting it go to the pre-chorus. Fuck y'all talking about? Hey, with the black family, and I don't give a damn. Right, here we go. And I don't give a damn what them little nigglets say. I ain't want them Yo. niggas anyway. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. You got more, nigga. If they back round away, nigga, you added to the trauma, Joe. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You made a remix? <laughs> Stop. I don't like... I'm going to walk off. Stop. Walk off then. No, you're not. Mad exposure. You killing. <laughs> Sit right there. <laughs> These niggas is sad, bro. Instagram, bro. We need a Brian McKnight kids versus. Put the old kids against the new kids. <laughs> this is sick right here to say to your kids. Listen. Do I ever cross <laughs> your mind? <laughs> Anytime. Yes, you do, Dad. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I think about you all the time. <laughs> now, so y'all just la y'all just laughing? We laughing at uh, at, a at a destruction of a black family. 
do, 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 do. Turn this off now. I miss you. I Yo. miss you. Yo, that's, that's the kid singing it. I help. miss you. <laughs> I'm is you, Dad. Pong, don't laugh at that. Come on, bro. My bad, my bad. Dead, my bad, man. Flip. You're right. Nah. Nigga. You're right. Mental health in a frame. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, oh, stop! Have your picture in a frame. At least he still got pictures of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> he got little steps coming down the hall. Stop! That's what, what they says. What is wrong with you, I niggas? And you, and you for black I people? Yeah, he's so, foul. so when it comes to Brian, he's the foul. black card don't play. He's foul. You for black I people, bro? Brian, he's foul. But his black family is suffering. I don't know nothing about oh, that, man. bro. I'm not. Yeah, all right, don't, they don't, they don't let me go there. I don't I know stop. Let's, about that. Let's move on. Let's go where. Oh, you gonna stop doing your clickbaity oh, shit with me? Yeah, yeah. Stop, it's yo. not clickbait. Let's yes, move on. Yes, it is. But right. yeah, you, you, so you riding with Brian McKnight? Yes. A, I'm not riding with nobody. I had a good nobody. joke I skipped too. I, <laughs> I don't, I don't know nothing me. about... Um, so say fuck Brian McKnight right now. I don't know nothing about his circumstances right. and his scenario. Respect. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> so listen, and sometimes the new family be lit, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, say it again. Say it again. Watch new family. Be Stop. Stop for real. I'm not gonna allow you to disrespect my peoples. Everybody, your peoples. Mm. You easily people, people, peopleable. Yeah, a lot of peoples. Mario. Yeah, it's a fact. Lot, yeah. Man, <laughs> yeah. You got people too. Yeah. Uh, Moving right along. Let's Moving do it. Moving right along. What else we got? What else we got? My head is pounding, but this has been a good part so far. Um, before we move on, man, I I do want to say uh, a rest in peace to. Shaq Barrett's uh, two-year-old daughter, name is Araya, passed away in a swimming pool, swimming pool accident. Sheesh. Rest in peace. Mm. Rest in peace. And he was just, I think they celebrated her, her second, second birthday. birthday a couple weeks ago or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Really so sad. rest in that's peace. That one, that mm -hmm. one. Just reading it hurt me. Yeah, that's, that's Please be careful and mindful <sighs> with toddlers and small children by pools. Uh, we've seen a lot of incidents over the past few years that have been unfortunate. I'm saying this as pool opening day in New Jersey is approaching. Mm -hmm. Just please be aware. Please. Mm -hmm. Yes. And prayers and thoughts to uh, Shaq's yes, family. Feminist family. Yeah. Or, um, <clears throat> we've been getting a little bit of heat with regards to our uh, topics pertaining to relationships, pertaining to man and woman issues, mm -hmm. but something happened over the weekend that was a little feisty. Um, Ebony K. Williams, who used to be on the show with Joe, uh, State of the Culture, had Ayala Van Zant, the proclaimed writer, best-selling author, on Fix her show. Fix Your Life Lady. Fix Your Life, yeah, mm -hmm. on her show. And uh, Ebony K. Williams went on to ask her, um, how do we properly... Um, assess and correct some of the relationship issues that have been going on with men and women in today's society. And this was the clip. That you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes, they're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's, no. that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. What do we feel about that? I agree with, I agree with the fix my life lady. Ayala. Yeah, of course. 
And I think a lot of the shit that these women uh, say out here is performative, like Ebony K just proved. Like, you can't echo all of that shit in one sen- sentence and in the very next sentence say, I date a bus driver if he owned a bus. Oh, well, then you part of the problem. I agree with everything she said. I, I a thousand percent agree with that. Melissa, you are the female voice. Okay. I'm going to say the resident vagina yes. in the room. <laughs> I, I was trying to... You don't know what everybody got? <laughs> oh, man. How you know what everybody got? <laughs> You're right. Don't I, just assume that you're you the right. only I, pussy around. I stand corrected. Don't assume that. I stand corrected. Can I guess who's got it? Yeah. Oh, that's a great game. That's a, who's your pick? No, who's your pick? Come on. That, no. you want to play. Fuck Go ahead. No, no, no. Fuck you. Um, okay, so when I heard that, to me... That was a gotcha question. There was no right answer. If she said, yeah, everybody would have been like, you're a fucking liar. And she said, I think her answer was quick and stupid, honestly. Like, yeah, if you own the bus, who the fuck owns a bus? What are we talking about? Like a metro bus driver? He ain't gonna own the fucking bus. Like, that's, it just was foolish. It's just like, if you wanted to say, no, I would, prefer to, I would prefer to date somebody who's an entrepreneur who has like maybe a trucking business. Okay, fine. You know what I'm saying? But by her saying, if she said, no, I wouldn't have never date a bus driver. You're an elitist bitch. Yes, I would date a bus driver. You're a fucking liar. You, know, you wouldn't. You know what I mean? So to me, the question itself was a very gotcha kind of question. You so, know? I, so that was, that's my first thing. Secondly, the assumption is that a bus driver makes a minimum wage, you know, and is you know, that it's going to be like a kind of like a form of struggle love. And there's always this kind of assumption that black women specifically are supposed to just kind of put up with anything and everything. The bar is really so low in terms of what it is that we're supposed to accept and expect from guys. And Listen, and here's the thing is that I hear your arguments whenever you guys are talking about women have outrageous expectations of the men that they want and I can't really speak to those women who are like sitting around eating bonbons and saying but I gotta have a nigga with a big dick and he gotta be over six feet tall and he gotta make you know seven figures and stuff like that I don't know that I don't know that woman I hear I see a lot of comments of women making those kinds of comments and I don't relate to her you know what I mean what I relate to is the concept of being equally yoked that's what I do relate to. And I also think to myself when Ebony K. Williams is sitting there and we all, we know who she is. You know, she's an accomplished lawyer. She's educated. She's attractive. You know, she's got a TV show. Would a bus driver want to date her? You know what I'm saying? Or would he find her a little intimidating and wonder what the fuck do these two people even have in common? Like, I think that a lot of times commonality kind of gets missed in the whole, you know, idea of, relationships and who's compatible. When I think about being in relationships with people, I have a criteria, but it's based on my life experiences. You know what I'm saying? So for me, dating somebody who may not be as well-traveled or have a desire to travel, that is extremely important to me and that's one of my deal breakers. You know what I mean? I'm a student of life. I love to go out uh, and travel and absorb myself in other cultures. That's my thing. So if we don't have that in common, I'm not sure if that would lead us down the road of having a lot less in common. You know what I mean? So He's I a think bus driver. He's well-traveled. You're fucking... Hel- you with your <laughs> no. one-liners, Parks. I, I love and he it. probably picks up a diverse, uh, you know... Right. But I, think, but, but I think the question in reverse is applicable here. Would a bus driver want to date her? Well, you know what I mean? Go ahead. I'm, I'm yeah. talking. Go ahead. I'm want to hear everybody's stance. We are having an well, open forum. Room. A forum you discussion. About to say something though. I think the women that chase the bag, oftentimes flip it and say, "Yo, these people suffer from um, insecurities because I'm intimidating to them." Mm-hmm. We just had a segment on shares, dude. Mm-hmm. He ain't intimidated, is he? She worth $360 million. No, He's he, not intimidated, he, is he? No, no. But I feel like that's a completely different story. And Could be. I think that's a completely different scenario. Like, Why? Because she's older and white? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say white like that? White? I just, I just, I'm just asking because <laughs> it's because she's older and white. And do you think but she's less attractive I, no, than I, other women? No, it has nothing to do with okay. that. I just think that when a woman... When a woman is in a position like Cher, where she's got hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank, she is like wealthy, generationally wealthy, the amount of choices 
that she has is the same as a very rich man. True. It's the exact same thing. Got it. Women create their own fucking dance card when they are. You're moving the goalposts. Y'all are confusing huh? the shit out of me right now. You're moving the goalposts. I'm she, well, no, I'm just talking. I'm talking. Moved, of, I'm I, just talking in response to. He asked the question about share, and I answered it specifically about share. Got it. I think Ebony, like so many women, in my opinion, um are not playing the numbers game. It's a probability game in life. You could walk outside tomorrow and get struck by lightning. You could get hit by a bus. But the probability of that happening is not likely. When you start looking for certain caliber of people and you put finances as the immediate go-to, your eligible pool of men, women, whomever, is small. It's the same if I said, yo, I only want to date a woman that's 6'4". Mm -hmm. If I start off with 6'4 as my immediate criteria, I know that I have a very small pool of eligible women to find, meet, and marry. When you start putting financial ramifications on anybody, man, woman, boy, or girl, the numbers in the United States or the numbers abroad don't support that. Okay. You're not going to be really successful in that. Okay. You're getting lucky. Right. So... And Alan Van Zandt spoke to all the intangibles. He's a man of integrity. He loves his mother. He treats me as amazing, blah, 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 blah. She sat there with the face mm -hmm. because her initial criteria was financial. How much you make? Mm -hmm. And so now when you add with the financial, already a small pool, then you start talking about the other shit, height, dick, uh, education, sense of humor, um, charisma, he dresses well, all of those things, your pool just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller till you're stuck with the creme de la creme. And now when you get the creme de la creme, they may not want your ass. Mm -hmm. You might not fit their criteria now. Mm -hmm. And so when you don't fit the man's criteria, the man gets looked at as a pompous jackass. He's a mm -hmm. cocky, conceited motherfucker, blah, 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 blah. But they don't say that about women. They say that women shouldn't settle. This is like that... Um, Double standard. Remember, remember, remember we pulled up that delusion website? I do. And there was a website. Uh -huh. and I don't think you, I was here for this. No, this okay. was, we, were, we were over there. Yeah. But it was a website, mm -hmm. and you put in what you want in a man. Okay. Two pieces of criteria. You could put in, I want a man that's six feet, over six feet, and that makes over 150 grand. Okay. In black. Okay. And they would give you the decimals. What percentage of point oh 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 right. oh oh whatever percent okay. of men in the United States, you have. Mm -hmm. So now it's up to you now to go find the point oh 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 whatever percent man. Yeah. And then you'll look around the world and say, yo, these men are not meeting our criteria. Mm -hmm. Your criteria, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's just not likely. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that anybody's criteria is completely fixed, though. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the conversation operates. Like, our criteria is fixed. Sure. Okay, he got to love Jesus. He got to have a big dick. He got to be six feet or over. He got to have this, 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 this. It's a sliding scale. It, it, it's an ab absolutely sliding scale because somebody can come along. Like, there's always that... Um, there's always chance for like for just some serendipity to play a role. And somebody crosses your path that in no way, shape, or form looks like what your written down criteria looks Correct. like and they rock your fucking world True. and you're like, hey, I'm as surprised as fucking anybody. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? True. So it's just like the rigidity in which these, this criteria is hoisted upon women of this is what you want and that's not what you deserve. You should check yourself and fucking humble yourself. It's, it's weird. You know what I mean? Like it's weird because it just, it does not apply to like, a mo to, to, as a monolithic fucking, you know, um, desire for every woman. Not every woman is looking for that. You know what I mean? I know plenty of women who are like, I just want the nigga to be kind. I want him to be kind, compassionate, give no, a fuck about me. No, huh? no, they say that. I'm not talking about, I'm, no, I'm not talking about me. I'm, they say I'm, it. Yeah. They say it, but he kind with a three inch dick. <laughs> okay. Stop it. <laughs> Stop what? No, no, he said it. <laughs> How do you feel? How do, how do you feel about that? Egg life. <laughs> Niggas are fucking annoying. Yo, go ahead, rabbit. Go do the other. Yeah, we gotta. What? He said we'll he close gave out you, like, anomaly. Yeah. yeah you, you close. I was gonna out let this, the song play a little bit. No, the song yeah. is close out. I'm, okay. no, I'm just YouTube. saying. I, I just that, that's just that's just my hot take yeah. on it. Is just like I just think that the rigidity around the conversation of like women having a set 
um, you know, a set set of, ex of expectations is like, it's not realistic. Got it. You I know agree. what I mean? Like, I agree. Yeah. Thousand percent. No. It's all double standards anywhere. Y'all yeah. can have standards, we can't. It's all podding anyway. Yeah. Okay, man. Motherfuckers are just podding. You guys can totally have, st why can't you guys have standards? We do. Yeah. <laughs> I played this on amp yesterday. All them niggas talking about this Ish and Mel song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Mel. Come in, Big Mel. Here you go. Let that nigga have run. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Fuck away from my mom house, crazy bitch. Word. What <laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. She went by her mother's house. Oh, her mom. And his car was there. To oh, her, you oh, still family, and it don't seem fair. Listen, listen, I see what she's saying. Yeah. She's singing about that. No, but I went by my clear. mother crib. Your car I ain't was there. No, she didn't say that. She said, but to her, you're still family. I get it. I don't get That's fucked up. Like, no, no nigga, you my mother. You no, ain't, ain't, ain't fucked up. What the fuck you talking about? You get the moms. You <laughs> cheat code, nigga. nigga. I'm cutting stay spades away. from the gate. Yo, stay away from my mother's house when we break up, fam. Shit. We, how we break up? I don't care, nigga. Go get somebody else to make you soup. Mm. Fuck out of my face. Right there talking to moms. Who? Mm. Me. Nigga, I'm my heart broke. You better stay away from my mother house. <sighs> uh, there's not much going on on part of the show here. Oh, let's see. Whoa, did I read this? Bernard Carter. Is there more I can do? I'm currently out on bail, looking at two felonies for shooting, self-defense. I read this, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. All right, we got it. We got it. We Dang. helped this guy out already. Hot take. Does Scarface have a better verse when featured on a J song? This can't be life. His verse was genius. All right, what are you asking me? Okay. Does Scarface have the better verse oh, did he? when featured on a J song? Probably. Yeah, he might be. Probably. At least two. He got a bunch of records. That this can't, uh, this can't be life verse. They yeah. all hate Scarface's voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going with yes. I yeah. think that Scarface has gotten Not better of Jay thing, yeah, on like... one of their duets mm -hmm. or collaborations. Uh, what's happening? What is that? Noise? What is that? What is that? This noise happening right now. Uh, I don't have anything else that's burning a hole in my heart that I have to get out. Uh, getting you in the mental health, current day. Oh, God, please. All right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Where do you get those dating topics from? What? Which ones? The is ones it, that you be writing up on this board. Is a man wrong for breaking up with? No, a I didn't ask you to read them. But oh. where do you get them from? That um, one, the top one came from me. Mm. The second one came from me I, and a ice conversation and me and Ice were having. Mm -hmm. Ice mm -hmm. and Mel. Yeah. So well. you get them from these two? Well, I mean, you know, ether. Um, yeah, whatever somebody comes in here talking about, I'm like, oh, that that would be good. Okay. Yeah. What? No him. Yeah. Wait, 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 before we go though, because I was thinking about what you said earlier. You said Miguel stole Adorn. Adorn, Adorn? snitching. I'm saying Adorn is sexual healing. Snitching. No, I'm just, I, I, I ain't let that sexual go. Snitching. I'm snitching. <laughs> gotcha. He, uh, what if they put a lawsuit on this nigga because of this now? It's Joe Budden Ford. Stop. That ain't even the hot take I was trying to end with. I see the ESPN analysts out there. Y'all coming around. Y'all coming around. Hey, Steph better than Magic, what's up? No. No, he's not there yet. Shit. Sure. <laughs> okay. I saw the other the other one they <laughs> Okay, look at Corey. Yeah, look ahead. at you, fix your eyebrows, nigga. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. Is. Hey, when, when Magic got drafted? <clears throat> and, when he, and when he stopped? Yeah, you know it, nigga. Don't speak up. Tough jail, nigga. When you, when you, 90, right? 91, right? 91. About 92. what? 11, 12? Not 11 years. Who? Matt Jones. 11 years? Okay. Right? <laughs> Yo, y'all hold it down out there, man. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things, grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. I ain't going to lie. Marvin what got... this nigga was going through to make a record like this, huh? Marvin got slaps that, that need to be protected. 
Mm. That's what Tyler, Tyler, the creator, say that if he dies, he don't want nobody putting out no posthumous album with his vocals. Just leave everything alone where it is. Love it. Artists want their shit to be protected, man. Y'all hold it down, man. We'll be back same time, same place this weekend. <laughs> Yo. It go. You talk about that. Um, Anderson Pop got his shit tattooed on him. When I'm gone, don't release any posthumous nothing. I like that. They're not going to listen to you, Anderson. Yeah, but they're not going to listen. They're going to do it. Yo, Good that shit. you got it, dear. <laughs> Miguel somewhere mad as shit right now. Joe, stop. Word. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gone, man. Y'all hold it down. We'll see y'all this weekend. Peace, love, light, health, wealth, and prosperity. You ready for Thursday, Mel? Go Knicks, go Knicks, go Knicks, go Knicks. Thursday. Yes. What's Thursday? What's, what's Thursday? Sensitivity training. Oh, I Sensitivity was, training. I thought, I, I thought y'all was going to see Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy with me or something, man. Uh, you didn't invite us. I sure did. Sensitivity didn't. training is on Thursday, the 4th. All right, we out. Can I with that one? Where's our drops, right, man? No. For real. Keep talking, man. Y'all ain't been here long enough for drops yet. Shut the fuck up. You never. Yeah, you ain't even. You never. You never. Y'all want to watch how long it took to get drops? What are y'all talking about? Y'all been here, what, four months? Y'all been here for two minutes. Y'all got some work to put in. I know. Damn. JBP, JBP, <laughs> oh, you I don't get that. JBP. I don't get it, people. No, Joe Biden.